thing is, when you look back on your life, you don't remember these days. You don't remember how cold it was. A little bit of sleep you might have missed. So get out of bed early. What you do remember is coming up second place, third place, not first place. Because success doesn't know these things about cold or early or tired. It just knows if you showed up or not. The difference between someone successful and someone that's not successful is not their ability. The differential is their desire. See, some of you have dreams and goals, but hard work, you can't get around it. I wish there was a magic wand that I could wave that your passion, your dream, that thing you want to achieve, it could just happen, but it can't. Hard work is required. Hard work works. And you know what's great about our culture, y'all? The world's lazy. It's a good thing for you and me. Nobody wants to do it. Everybody will talk about it. Everybody will post about it. But nobody wants to roll up their sleeves and just go get it. What are you doing to make your next effort your best effort? Are you reaching deep down inside? to fight through everything that you're going through right now? Or are you settling to be where you are at this current moment? You need to work an hour longer. You need to run just a little faster. You need to put five more pounds on the rack. That's the effort you need to be great. That's the sacrifice that you have to put in in order for you to get to the next level that you need to be at. It's going to take the dog mentality. It's going to take you getting a hold of this thing and not letting go. You're going to have to fight and fight and fight till you can't fight anymore. If you put in your mind at this moment that whatever it takes, I will do whatever I have to do to get to the other side, to make it over, to press through this. Nothing will hold me back. Nothing will stop me. You need to put more energy into what you're doing than anybody else. So you're getting up at 4 and it ain't working. Get up at 3.30. So you read the book once and you didn't get it. Read it twice. Read it three times. You can strive for 100%. You may get to 99, but that 1%, it can hurt more than anything. 1% is injuries. 1% is bumps and bruises. 1% is sweat, blood, and tears every single day. But when you're down and you feel out, just remember this is that 1%. So you push back, you fight back, you get up, dust yourself off, and get back on track. This ain't for the weak and the uncommitted. Sometimes it's gonna hurt, sometimes it's gonna be painful, sometimes you're not gonna be able to walk. But if you want it, you gotta go get it. You gotta play hard for it. Yep, it's difficult, yep, why? Because the process is weeding out the weak. You working out, you wanna die. Feel the pain happening in your legs as you rep out one more squat. Because it will be all the more pleasurable when you reach the inevitable other end of the spectrum where you're laying in your hammock and sipping on a protein shake. Boy, I really went hard. I really went hard on that set. I really went hard in school. I really went hard in my career. I really went hard in life. Go hard. Die hard. Success is like a quiet daily set of tasks real real small it's like that quiet walk to the gym some empty ass gym late at night over and over and over or as I sit there studying other great people and then comparing it with what I'm doing and looking at it over and over and over doing 20 minutes of quiet meditation a day over and over and over making the choice to eat foods that enhance my brain neurotransmitters over and over and over it's a very quiet process where you're just drawing your state from within yourself doing these like simple little tasks but finding love in those simple little tasks it's not this big rah-rah speech where you do this one thing and something big happens when we look at the leading sales professions of the world when we look at the best business people they say she's gifted she's smarter than me she just somehow knows more than me. She's got a better education. She had an easier background. She got lucky. You've heard the cliche because it's true. The harder I work, the luckier I get. I'm an ordinary person, but I focused on my craft. I had a burning desire to be excellent. I love what I do. Sharing in my books and speaking is my oxygen. It's my DNA. Four in the morning I get up and I'm working in my craft because I love it. I love it. The process is just as important as the actual prize because the process is going to make you the deeper the process. 
created a reward. A real man in the dark, when nobody's watching, he putting in work. Because he loves the process. Everybody wants to be a champion, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to be a champion. Everybody wants to hold up the trophy and say, man, I did it, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to do it. I love the process. I love the thought of working for what I want. And I firmly believe you're never supposed to wish for it more than you're willing to work for it. The nine to five person, they make a sale and they're excited. When you get to my level and you get one thing, you try to get to the next level, then you try to get to the next level, then you try to get to the next level. A true hunter hunts. A true hunter's goal is not the prize. A true hunter's goal is to hunt. That's what they live for. Because real lions like to hunt. They love the process just as much as they love the prize. I understand it is in the process that you get better. It's in the process that don't nobody know your name and five years later, you're one of the best in the world. Why? The process. I don't get up at three o'clock in the morning because I'm broke. Then why do you get up at three o'clock in the morning? Because I ain't finished yet. In any area of your life that you want to change, there's one fact that you need to know. You're never going to feel like it. And those of you in this room, you're average. You have no business being average, but now you've justified it. You've come up with these great reasons of why you can't wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning. you come up with these great reasons why you can't get up at 5. You have these great reasons of why you have to do everything, why you don't execute, why you don't finish, why you don't follow through, why you say you'll exercise and you do it for about 10 days and you quit. You've got an excuse for why you're average. Think about the things that you tell yourself, the lies you use to rationalize taking the easy road. You don't have time. You don't have support. You don't know the best way. You're too busy and you're too tired or you're too sore or you're just plain not feeling it. Lies, lies, lies. And the list goes on and on. And it doesn't stop if you don't make it stop recognize the excuses are not valid they're conjured up they're fabricated they're lies and how do you stop the lies you stop the lies with the truth that the truth is you have time you have the skill you have the knowledge and the willpower and the discipline to get it done cast out the lies burn them down so easy to put things off so easy to say you can do it tomorrow well i want you to reprogram your brain and tell yourself that tomorrow is not a viable option tomorrow doesn't work you do it today you get it done today that's what you do i challenge you guys to become people who do instead of people who talk about doing I challenge you to not be the person who posts success meme after success meme after success meme after success meme with no fucking improvement in your life. Success is about doing. It's not about talking. And no matter how much positive you try to put out, no matter how many success memes you think you're going to post, it's not going to be your fucking year if you don't learn to be someone of action. You will have to pay the price. There is a price tag to greatness. If you're going to get anything, you will have to work for every single thing you get. And you got to work every single day. You got to wake up every day and work. And not only do you got to wake up every single day and work, you got to outwork everybody. Successful people, while you're bitching and whining and crying about how things are hard and why things aren't fair, guess what they're doing? They're doing the fucking work. You can't snap your fucking fingers and become somebody else. You have to commit to becoming better. You have to commit to being a person of action. You have to commit to being someone who doesn't just talk, but follows through. Aren't you fucking sick of not hitting your fucking goals? Aren't you sick of being the same that you are every fucking year? If you tell yourself you're going to do something, you need to fucking do it. If you tell yourself you're going to be something, you need to fucking be it. Be an example for yourself, be an example for your family, be an example for your friends of someone who f***ing does.
Many of you will not be successful because you've got this giant goal and no steps to go with it. You're just in your mind like, this is my year. How many steps? I don't know. What is it going to take me to do it? I don't know. I just know this is my year. Can I be real with you? If you can't measure it, it ain't real. I had to give something up to go up. What do you give up? Do you not watch TV? That's your problem. You getting to watch TV and not make money and still survive. What do you sacrifice? The reason why you broke is because you getting a reward and you ain't working. Having esteem for yourself only occurs when you put yourself on the line and you do something that's incredibly difficult on a regular basis. That's where pride comes from, something that's earned. So there are people who want stuff, but you kind of want it. I get sick and tired of people telling me how bad they want it, yet their actions don't back up that statement. Obsession is wanting something so bad that I go to bed with, I wake up to it, I make whatever sacrifice, I grind, I can't live without it. If you're going to get anything, you will have to pay the price. There is a price tag to greatness. You will have to work for every single thing you get. And you got to work every single day. You got to wake up every day and work. Everybody wants to wait and put off the things they truly want in their lives for tomorrow, the mystical place where 99% of dreams go to die. The only time you have is right now. And if you're not obsessed every single second of every single day with achieving your goals, you're never going to achieve them. It takes dedication. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes obsessive, compulsive, ridiculous amounts of effort. You better dedicate every fucking second of every day, of every week, of every month, of every fucking year for a lot of fucking years in a row if you ever want to get these kind of goals. Don't be somebody who talks shit. Be somebody who does shit. The only thing you do for success, there's no discounts. It's sweat, it's blood, it's tears. You can't get 50% off. It's sweat, it's blood, it's tears. There are no shortcuts to success. Stop thinking they are. And stop wanting people to put you somewhere that you didn't earn. I dare you to try to shortcut success. It's not going to happen. You can't go around it. You can't go under it. You can't go over it. The only way you can get to it is through it. Hold yourself responsible for a higher standard than anybody else expects specs of you. Never excuse yourself. Don't fool yourself into thinking that this year is going to be better than last year if you're still making excuses. There are no excuses. You cannot cheat success. You got to work for it. You got to breathe it. You got to sleep it. You got to eat it. You got to put forth 120%. When you go out there, I need you to have that dog. When you get out there, I need you to kill or be killed when you get out there. When you get out there, whatever you can get, go get it. Because they going to get it before you get it. And they ain't going to give it to you. So you go out there and it was yours because there's somebody out there who wants your spot you're not the only one trying to go to Yale you're not the only one trying to go to Harvard you're not the only one trying to go to the NBA you're not the only one trying to go to the NFL and so you got to embody excellence it only take one extra push-up it only take one extra mile it only take one extra grade it only takes one extra effort it only takes one extra something to get you to where you're trying to get to a new outfit doesn't make you a new person and if you think you are magically it's gonna be a new person i hate to be the bearer of bad news because new life comes from a new mind and a new way of looking at your life keep your dreams phenomenal keep your vision phenomenal and now i need you to get your weight up i need you to get your schedule up i need you to get your life up i need you to get your action up i need you to get to a place that every single thing that you do is phenomenal so that the life you want to live you can actually live that life. Sooner or later you will run into something that makes you question everything you thought you did well. You haven't lived till you fail so badly that you wonder, will I ever get back up again? Discouragement is what brings a mighty man to acting like a weak man. Your greatest hour is usually right after your worst hour to spare. You've just gone through a breakup? Some of you, you lost your job, and it's the worst thing you've ever been through. And so all of a sudden you're sitting there and you're thinking, man, I thought my life was together, and now it's in shambles at my feet. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. It's all right. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Hold on to that fundamental quality of faith. Have faith that on the other side of your pain is something good. What you're going through right now is necessary. 
because what's happening right now is you are forging the skills. You are forging the determination. You are forging the grit. You are forging the fortitude. You are forging all the things that nobody else is gaining because they're sitting on their hands and you're willing to push through. People are judged by how high they score on aptitude tests, personality tests, achievement tests, and crap like that. Ain't nobody ever designed a test that can measure the heart of a champion. You got to have heart. Get some heart. What you want me to tell you to accept the life that you've been given? You want me to tell you to give up? You want me to tell you to quit? That's what you want me to say? Well, listen to me. I can't tell you that. I'm not about to tell you that you're going to keep that cycle book. I'm going to tell you to break that cycle. I don't care where you are. Use what you got to get what you want. Use your mind. Use your vision. Use your dream. As a man, think of so as he. Think your way out of it. Grind your way out. It's only so far your little 6'6 six, six gonna get you. It's only so far your money. It's only so far your car gonna get you. When you going up against certain things, your bank account can't do it. Only character can. It wasn't easy for me to get you where I am right now. I got here from my mind and I envisioned it. I saw myself when I was still homeless, when I was still a high school dropout, when I was sleeping in abandoned buildings and eating out trash can. I saw myself one day being where I am right now. And if you can see the invisible, you you can do the impossible. The moment you make up your mind to get up, you can get up. And no devil in hell, no system, no government, no power, no boss, no community, or anything else can hold you. Once you are free in your mind, you are free. And you got to get to a point where you are so locked in, you are so centered, that you don't hear anything around you. All you hear is the dream saying, let's go, E.T., E.T., let's go. E.T., come on. One more class, E.T., one more embarrassment, E.T., one more hour, E.T., push, E.T., push, E.T., push. What you don't realize is that all the hell you're going through in the process is preparing you to make the dream become a reality. Your hardships, your challenges, your situation will either be the reason you don't make it or it will be the story you tell when you do make it and you get to make that choice. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what your background is. It doesn't matter what race you are, what gender you are. For every excuse you can make, there are thousands of people who had it harder than you that have done what the f*** you want to do. You got a mind. You got a heart. Stop making excuses. Excuses. Yes, it's going to be hard. Yes, it's going to be difficult, but you can do it. Many dreams die while suffering. When you're suffering, you give up on the very things that you wanted the most. So many people out there fail, not because they don't have the ability. It's because they don't have the heart to go through adversity. Now it's the mental game. And that's where people get lost in life, get lost in that next level. You must get your fucking self out of the fucking sewer. No one's coming in the fucking sewer to get you. It's dark, it's nasty, there's rats down there. It's your brain. You are the only person that can pull yourself out. You gotta study this shit, man. The only way we're gonna fucking get through this is if we study it. So every time I'm in a dark moment, I get in it, man, with a fucking pen and paper. I'm like, okay, this fucking sucks. I can feel like I'm losing my shit, but let's fucking study this. What is it that I can learn from this? What corrective action do I need to take that will unlock the door to unlimited powers and possibilities that I have within myself? Let's come out of this motherfucker genius. The easiest thing in the world to do is to complain. The easiest thing in the world to do is to be negative. It takes work to have a perspective that see things on the right side of the coin. You got to fight for that. It takes work to show up every single day and when things are not playing in our favor to say, you know what, man, I'm going to still show up and I'm going to give everything I got to it because I value what I'm a part of. It takes work to have the right perspective. You're going to need some energy. You're going to need something that's so powerful. You're going to need something with real life happen. You're going to need some energy that can get you going and get you through this. You've got to ask yourself, what's your why? What motivates you? What pushes you? What drives you? 
You gotta have a why. You gotta have a reason for why you do what you do. The problem with some of y'all, the reason why you don't give 120% because you ain't got a why for what you do. What is it that will give you the drive? What is it that will ignite the courage in you to get up and come back again and again and again? How is it that you would be able, what reasons that can tap in to that deep down feeling that goes to your gut? That no matter how many times you get knocked down, that you're coming back. Why are you here, Les? Because I want to make mama proud of me. I promise my kids something I'm going to do for them. I'm going to give them a better life. I want to leave them a legacy. I wish I could tell you it's going to get easier. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, the weight is going to get light. I wish I could tell you that, but that's not the truth. The truth is, you got to find something within. You got to find something within. And that's got to push you, and that's got to drive you, and that's got to move you. And when you find out what your why is, you don't hit snooze no more. When you find your why, you find a way to make it happen. And so life normally breaks you because when it hits you, you wasn't ready. But if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. If you stay ready and you stay plugged up, when you hear bad news, it don't break you because you already energized. Whatever you want, you got to be willing to accept whatever come with it. You don't judge a person by where they stand in times of comfort and convenience. You judge them by where they stand in times of challenge and controversy. Like when you work for something, it gives you a different type of attachment to it. The harder you work, the harder it is to surrender. That's why cats can give up so easy. They ain't got nothing invested. They ain't work for it. They ain't sacrificed for it. But when a cat work for something, like when a cat been sacrificed for something, well, you're going to have a cold day in hell before you take it from them. Because they value it different. It's a dog fight. It hasn't been easy. It's a dog fight. You have a dream and then life punks you and say, do you really want this? It's a part of it, but I paid too much. It's been rough. It's been hard. But I've made up in my mind that I will get a reward for the pain that I go through. I'm not retreating. I'm not running. I don't care if you say we outnumber. We live by this and we die by this. We don't retreat. Once we hit that wall, we don't quit. We don't give up. We push a switch called will and we start using our willpower. Yes, we tired. Yes, the mind is saying give up. Yes, it's saying quit. But we cannot quit because we realize we have not reached a goal yet. You have come too far to quit now. You have invested too much to quit now. You have lost too much to quit now. Get a reward for your pain. Don't cry about it. Don't whine about it. Get a reward for it. When you acknowledge it, hey, it's me. I'm the one. I've got to do this. I'm the one that's going to turn this around. So I got some roadblocks here. It's not easy for me. But ultimately, I know that these roadblocks, these obstacles, this opposition won't stop me. It will not determine my reality. You start running from a class, you start running from a subject that you don't like, it will haunt you for the rest of your natural life. It ain't going nowhere. But at some point, you gotta go take the life out of it. At some point, you just gotta take that thing out. You gotta take the breath out. So some of y'all are afraid of math. Go after it. Go get it. Don't run from it no more. Go get it. You go in there and go get that grade. You go in there and get that information so you can pass that class. You gotta go get it. Be f***ing great. Put the time in to learn the skills. Put the skills into practice. And make a commitment to becoming so good that all your peers say, that's the motherfucker that's the best. And if you can do that, you cannot be stopped. It is not the movement of the clock that produces the newness of life. It is the movement in your mind. Every time you dedicate yourself, this is my year, I'm gonna make it happen, you don't make it happen. Not because you can't do it, but you can't outlast your old you long enough to get to your new you. What stops us from making the changes that we need in our behavior, in our situation, it's the mind. You gotta get tired of losing. You have got to get to a point where you say, I'm sick and tired of living like this. I have had it. I'd had it borrowing money from people. I'd had it living like a cringing animal. When you don't have any money, it runs your blood pressure up. I'm tired of doing what I used to do. If I always do what I've always done, I'll always be where I've always been. I'm not gonna live like this anymore. No, there's gotta be more for me. I got tired of losing. I got tired of coming up short. I got tired.
I see other people winning and I'm not winning and I want to be a winner and I'm tired and I got tired y'all so I did something about it. I woke up every day and started grinding. I was tired. That's when people go out and strike out on their dreams. Let me tell you something. You deserve it. There is more to your life than you've been living. You deserve it. No more dreaming. Dreaming is over. I need specifics. What are you doing on Monday? What are you doing on Tuesday? What are you doing on Wednesday? You need to be very specific. It's time to put your pieces together of your puzzle. Ain't nobody stopping you but you. You're not average. Stop acting like it. You're not average. Why you being average? You're not average. Why you being good when you're not good? You great. You phenomenal. When you gonna step up to the plate? This is not a year that you're gonna be doing a lot of talking. We're not dreaming no more. We're not wishing no more. We're not watching other people ride the ride no more. This is the year for grinding. You want it, and you're gonna go all out to have it. I'm gonna do something about this situation. How are you going to make it? I don't know, but I will. I don't need a bear to chase me to get up in the morning. I don't sleep in. If I slept in, it's because I worked so hard the day before that I was tired. What do you need to motivate you? Are you not enough? Is your potential not enough? Is your greatness not enough? You're putting in work, and just because you can't see the results, you want to quit or give up. I ain't never quit. I ain't never give up. I ain't never give in. I just kept grinding. If you keep going, you're going to break through. The only people that don't break through are the people who scoreboard watching. Wake up every single day, and if the opportunity to work out is there, work out. If the opportunity is there to read, read. But whatever you do, wake up every single day and know that you should work as if everything depends on you. And do whatever it takes. Let's go. Stop playing with it. Stop telling me I'm got time make it work fix it let's go you gotta go all in if you want things to get better you gotta get better if you want things to change you gotta change but you gotta do it deliberately and consciously you've got to constantly find a way to feed that mind something that's got strategy in it knowledge is not power execution trumps knowledge every day of the week turn your shoulds into musts because everybody's got a list of shoulds don't they I should lose weight, I should go on a diet, I should make more phone calls, I should, I should, I should, I should, I should, I should. You want to create results, and those results come when you raise your standard. you got to turn the shoulds into musts. Discomfort is your friend, because discomfort may move you to actually go for the life you deserve. You have a chance to control your destiny. Come on, let's go. Take ownership. What am I going to do about it? And mental toughness says, not only do I climb that doggone mountain, I enjoy climbing the mountain. I get a kick out the mouth. I get a kick out the weights. I get a kick out of going up against the number one team. I get a kick out of going into the sixth, seventh week. I get a kick out of fatigue. I get a kick out of the grind. I get a kick out of it. You take advantage of this opportunity. You let everything else go. You eat different. You study different. You practice different. I don't know how much longer I got, so I got to do it while I can. I might not be able to do this at 65, 75, but I can do it now. You will never regret making a sacrifice, ever. There will be times that try your heart so severely that everything in you wants to quit. Everything in you wants to collapse. Everything in you wants to go down. Everything in you wants to go crazy. There are times that you're going through adversity and that you feel alone. You're in the midst of a storm and it is what you do when you are alone that determines how much you really learn. It's what you do when nobody's looking. It's how you react to the issues of life. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. Anybody can be strong in comfort. Anybody can be powerful when you're not challenged. But when life gets through punching you in the gut and the eye and the head and you get through losing people and burying people and going through sickness and trauma and justice of all types, it will humble you. Whatever you do, don't lose your head. Pull your feelings out of it, pull your insecurities out of it, your vulnerabilities and stand on what you know. Yes, the road's been bumpy. Yes, the road's been tough. Yes, the road's been difficult. Yes, you've shed some tears. And yes, you've endured some pain. But it is the bumpy road to better. You can't get to better without bumpy. 
You can't get to better without pain. You can't get to better without tears. There is no pill you can take. There is no simple solution. It is the bumpiness of the road that leads you to better. Whatever you're going through right now, it's happening on purpose in order to forge you into the person that you were created to be ultimately. But if you quit, you will never get to be the person that you were created to be. Mighty men of valor, they accept the challenge of life. They accept responsibility. They don't blame everybody for everything. They say, I'm saying I was wrong about it, but this is what I'm going to do to fix it. Doesn't mean that you always get it right. It means you don't run home to mama when you get it wrong. You stay there and work it out and put it back together again because you're a mighty man of valor. See, if it was easy, if you had to be smart to do it, all the pretty people, all the brains would make all the money, have all the responsibility. Thank goodness it's tough. Thank goodness you got to get down there and slop it up. It's your ability to compete, to pick yourself up off the bat one more time, to go for it one more time, that's going to determine success or failure. Nobody can motivate you long range. The only real motivation that lasts comes from inside. Cover your head, cover your thoughts, cover the words that are coming into your mind, cover what you're saying to yourself. What you are saying to yourself determines whether you win or lose. What you say to yourself has all the world to do with how far you can go. The rain falls on the just and the unjust. Everybody in here goes through hell and high water and sometimes life ain't fair. This is no time to lose your head. This is no time to quit. This is no time to faint. This is no time to collapse. This is no time to give in. Lay your hands on your head and say, give me a new mind. Give me a new mind means give me a new perspective. Give me a new perspective. Give me a new way of looking at my situation. Give me a new way of looking at my circumstances. Dump out all jealousy, all pettiness, all unforgiveness, all strife, all malice, all confusion, all blame other people for your mistake. Get rid of every poison that's hindering you. I'm going to press my way. When it gets tough, I'm going to press my way. When I get tired, I'm going to press my way. When it's not convenient, I'm going to press my way. When my heart is broken, I'm going to press my way. When I'm rejected, I'm going to press my way. When I'm broke, I'm going to press my way. When I'm despaired, I'm going to press my way. That means that you've been kicked, you've been shoved, and you've been shot, but you're still standing on your post ready to fight the good fight. That means that you can take a licking and keep on ticking. That means you've been through hell and back, but you're still standing. Your eye may be black, and your teeth may be busted, and your lip may be swollen, but you look the devil in his eye, and you say, baby, I'm still here. Discouragement can creep in secretly and tell you life is not worth living. If you listen at discouragement, you will wonder if you're ever going to get out of what you're into. Don't make a permanent decision over a temporary circumstance. If you don't like where you're at, don't worry about it. It's just a step. If you don't like how you feel right now? Stop crying. It's just a step. Why are you up all night crying, weeping and worrying? over one step in the whole topography of your life. You can't judge your life by where you are in this moment. Do you not know that what you're worried about will pass? Don't you understand that one day you're going to look back and laugh at the thing that kept you up all night? Don't you understand that it's not nearly as major as you thought it was? You can live without your house. You can live without your car. You can live without your friend. You can live without your husband. You can live without your wife. I measure the value of a man by how hard he presses. How hard you press tells me how hard you hit. Energy is measured by motion. That's why the devil wants you to sit and feel sorry for yourself. But you ought to blow the devil's mind this morning. Just when he think he got you down, you ought to shock him and press. You better not start crying on the steps. You better not give up on the steps. You better not collapse on the steps. I don't care whether it's sunshine or rain, pleasure or pain. When you get up in the morning, put your pants on and press.
And you got to believe even if there's no reason to believe. And everything appeared to be going wrong. You're working on your dreams. And somebody that you love and trust decide to walk out on you. You still got to believe. When you see those things that you've been working on crumble in your face, you still got to believe. When friends who should be a source of strength and encouragement, relatives who should be there to inspire you and motivate you and tell you, you can't do it, you still got to believe. With no money in your pocket and many times more month left at the end of the month than after your money, you don't know how you're going to make it. You know your paycheck's gone before you get it. You still got to believe. I don't care what it takes. I don't care how many speeches I have to give, how many seminars I have to give. I know I ain't got the money. I know I don't have the education, but I ain't going to let that stop me. I'm going to do it. I fought my way up. I fought to get up on my feet. I fought to carry on. I fought to live. I fought to get out of the bed. I fought with my fears, my anxieties, my insecurities. I fought with haters, liars, backbiters, and betrayers. And many times I laid in the bed. I couldn't go to sleep because I was fighting with myself. I fought. I lost a lot of friends. I lost a lot of strength. I lost a lot of time. I lost a lot of money down on my knees. I was still believing. Broke, I was believing. Lonely, I was believing. Betrayed, I was still believing. And no matter what you're going through, as long as you still have breath in your body, as long as you're still alive, you're still in the game. Because anytime you wake up and you don't have a white chalk outline around your body, it's a great day. It's possible you can live your dream. And if life's got you backed up, who can't quit? Who can't give up? Who can't stop? You fail the class, get back up and try again. You lose a job, get back up and try again. You put all your money in investment, get back and try it again. If you start a business and it don't work, don't stop, don't quit. Your obstacles are not obstacles. They're there to teach you. They're there to forge you into a fucking machine. You are one idea away from what you saw in your dreams. You are one idea idea away because out of your head comes your thoughts and out of your thoughts comes your companies your self-perception your creativity and so every now and then you need to get your head together have you ever had anything bring you to the point that you wasn't sure if you could get out of this Somehow, it's not the one thing, but it's everything. It's everything you went through all the years before. And to find out that the things are never going to stop coming at you, that finally brings you to the point that you say, you know what, I'm not sure I want to get up out of the bed in the morning if all I got to face is another fight. Maybe you have doubt in your life. Maybe you don't know for sure what's going to be happening in the future and it scares you. It's that fear paralyzes you. And I just want to ask you today, do you think you have hope? You can't stop life from happening. You can do something about it. Life is 10% what happened to you. is 90% what you do about it. You've got to stop tripping every time something happened to you like it's the end of the world. It ain't. It's not the end until you've given up. Either you lie to yourself and get bitter and blame everybody for your own weaknesses or you strengthen yourself. You see muscle, muscle is created by repeatedly lifting things that have been designed to weigh us down. So when your shoulders feel heavy, stand up straight, lift your chin, hell, call it exercise. Remember that life is a gym membership with a really complicated cancellation policy. Remember that you will survive. Remember things could be worse. Remember we are never ever given anything that we can't handle. When the world crumbles around you, you have to look at the wreckage and then build a new one out of all the pieces that are still here. Remember you are still here. The human heart beats approximately 4,000 times per hour and each pulse, each throb, each palpitation is a trophy engraved with the words, you are still alive. You are still alive. Act like it.
If you don't have something in front of you, you stop fighting. You stop dreaming. You stop reaching. You need to have something that knocks you to your knees. You'll never discover what's inside of you until something challenges you. Life don't give you what you want. Life gives you what you will excel. If you will excel failure, hardships, disappointment, that's exactly what life's going to give you, right? If you want to win, you got to show up and demand for yourself success and fulfillment and happiness. In spite of all those feelings every day of just giving up, of just quitting, in spite of all that, it's going to be your ability somehow to muster up the courage, to flush that out, to reach down deep and find something inside of you that will allow you to go for it one more time. Adversity defines true character. Don't quit. Don't collapse. Don't faint. Don't give in. Don't succumb to depression. Either way you go, you gotta fight. All of us, we got the same envy. We're gonna die. So if you know you're going to die, why are you playing it safe? I'm going to build something. I'm going to make something happen. I am not going to live and die and not leave anything in the earth as a sign that I was here. I'm going to build something. I will not settle. Even if I have to start over. Even if it took longer than I expected. Even if I have to make payments. Even if I have to crawl on my belly. I will not give up on my dreams. I will not neutralize my tenacity. I will not give up on my integrity. I will fight every day. If you knock me down, you will have to do it tomorrow till I'll get back up again. I will not go quietly away into the night. I promise you guys, success is the loneliest road out there. It's you and your shadow at the end. Because it's too f***ing hard. People are not going to be around you to motivate you. They're not going to be around you to push you, to celebrate you, to applaud you. You got to do it on your own. It's hard to keep going when no one is supporting you, when no one is clapping for you. And that is exactly why you have to become your own biggest fan. You really do have to believe in yourself when no one else does. Always keep going. Always. No matter what happens, the storm eventually ends. And when the storm does end, you want to make sure that you're ready. Because eventually that storm passes. Don't judge your destiny by your history. Being a warrior is not about the act of fighting. It's about believing in something so strong that's worth fighting for that you'll never quit. You will never ever quit because it means so much to you. My strength is in my struggle. The level of battle you face is an indication of the level of blessings that you stand to receive. If you're up under attack, there's something to be gained. Because people don't fight people who don't build. If you weren't building anything, nobody would battle you. If you weren't going forward, they wouldn't fight you. You want to make your dream come true, you got to stay focused. Some people rather get even than get ahead. Stay focused on where you want to go. Championships aren't won in the theater or the arena. They're won in the thousands of hours in the training room, the last and the 5 a.m. runs and it's raining and everyone else is sleeping. That's when it's won. The heart of a champion is a light switch that's always on. It doesn't go on and off when someone's watching. It's constant. It's how you look at something. If your name's attached to it and you do it right, the best of your ability every single time. How bad do you want it? Do you want it bad enough to keep turning back, to look at it again? I don't know what it means, but it's drawing me. And I don't know what's going to come out of it, but some kind of way, my destiny tied to that. And I can't walk away. Your destiny is in the fire. If you run from the fire, you will run from your destiny. Your destiny is in the problem. Your destiny is in the storm. Your destiny is in the fight. If you want to be a diamond, you must go through extreme pressure. If you can't take pressure, then you're not a diamond. After you go through all the pressure you thought you could not handle, and you think it's over, then they turn on the heat. Once it goes through that type of pressure, and it finally becomes a diamond, at that point you can't break it no more. I've been broken so much. I've been defeated so much. I've been disappointed so much in my life. And I know what it feels like. I can't do it. Once you get to that point, you cannot be broken anymore. I dare you to take another step. You're right on the verge.
just stepping into your purpose, into your destiny. If you don't give up, if you don't baby yourself, if you go ahead and push yourself and get on up out of this mess, your whole life is about to change. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, keep coming back again and again and again. Get up dressed every day, knowing some way, somehow, with a spirit of expectation, I can do this. If you do that over and over and over again, your life will be easy. Life is going to beat you upside your head. Life will strip you to the core. You will cry. It's okay. It's a part of the deal. The real challenge of growth comes when you get knocked down. You're laying on the mat gasping and you don't know what you're going to do. How you handle it, that's where the growth takes place. If somebody came and knocked you down, there ain't nothing you can do about it. But if I come back a week later and you're still on the ground, we got a problem. And some of you, you say, it ain't my fault. You right. The way you were born, what happened to you is not your fault. But doggone it, you still on the ground after 20 years? If you get knocked down, there's nothing you can do about it. But getting back up has every single thing to do with you. I just need you to identify what your pain is. And then I need you to ask yourself what you're going to do about it. You have a choice how you respond to your pain. You are not the only person that's been through a divorce, boo. Get over it. You're not the first one, you won't be the last one. You can turn that divorce into something. You're not the first one to lose your promotion and get fired. You're not the first one. You're not the first one they let go of. You won't be the last one. The question is, what you gonna do about it? You have a choice to either give up or keep going. Give up or get up. You have to save your own life. Nobody's gonna be able to save it for you. So we have to do what we have to do, no matter what it is. You're going to have to be your own hero. So you can stop waiting for it, you can stop wishing for it, and you can get on with the rest of your life. I love myself enough not to be trapped in the same doggone spot for the rest of my life. I'm not stupid, I see what's going on, but I don't want to focus on that because if I put my energy into something negative, automatically my body's going to respond and I'm going to start doing negative stuff. That's the way the body is designed. You talk negative and your body does negative. You talk negative, you get diseases. You talk negative, mentally certain things happen. I'm not stupid. I know how to talk negative. But I've come to realize that when you think optimistically and you speak positively, you can speak those things which are not as though they were. You can say certain things out your mouth and make it happen. You want affirmation, look yourself in the mirror and say, I think I can. I think I can. I know I can. Do whatever it takes. You your biggest driver. You see, the fight's not over if you've been knocked down. It's only over if you quit. All I'm saying is don't quit. I didn't say don't rest. I didn't say don't recover. I said don't quit. Mentally, you ain't got to take off. Mentally, you can stay connected. And some of you are not successful because every single time you run up against a trial, every time you run up against a tribulation, you stop and you give it up to ease. I need effort from you. I need you to match whatever effort the enemy is putting up. Match the doggone effort. At the end of pain is your million. At the end of pain is your reward. At the end of pain is your productivity. At the end of pain is your promise. So stop crying about it and use your energy to get through it. You gotta look at life when life knocks you down and says, this all you got? Is this it? I was born in the dark, shaped in the dark, molded by the dark. I will break you. You recycle your pain. You use your pain. Pain is temporary. Pain is your friend. Pain is going to take you to the next level. No pain, no gain. But I want you to feel that pain going through your body. And as pain leaves your body, guess what's going to take its place? Success. Recycle your pain. You can decide the shape, the form. You can decide the product that comes from your pain. I cannot stop what happens to me, but I can dictate how I respond. But if you weak, you will be broke. And I'm not here because I'm the best. I'm here because they tried to break me, and they could. I invested too much to quit. I made too many sacrifices to give up. So when life happens, I don't just sit there and cry. I brought back. 
I brought back. Average people live off talent. Phenomenal people live off efforts. Life gonna whip your butt. Life is gonna bully you. Stop whining. Stop crying. Nobody cares. Let it hit you. But don't let it pump you. And I'm telling you right now, don't give up. I'm telling you right now, don't give in. Get through it. I don't care if you're sick. I don't care what you're going through. If you're not dead, he ain't through with you yet. As long as you're waking up, you're still in the game. As long as you're alive, you can still make it happen. As long as there's breath in your nostrils, you're still in the game. You still can win. Now get your butt up. And you will promise me that from this day forward, you will not be defeated. There are going to be days where you do not feel like doing anything. Those days are going to be there no matter what path you take. We have two voices in our mind. It's that one voice. It's that soft motherfucker. That soft motherfucker voice that says sleep the fuck in. It's okay. You can take the day off saying you don't need to go hard. It's that calling voice. You want to be hugged and nurtured and all that shit. That voice, that nagging voice of weakness, the one that tells you to back off, to simmer down, to take it easy. When you hear that voice, tell it no. Tell it to sit down and be quiet. Suppress that voice. You've got another voice in your head that's asking you a question. It's asking you, what could you be? What could you be? What could you be if you worked as hard as you could? What could you be if you imposed real discipline in your life? What could you be? Because that pain that you are feeling is the test. This is a test. This is the day I'm gonna find out if my goals really are my goals. Michael Jordan, they call it the flu game. He still scored more than the average dude with the flu. Even when you got the flu and you play other champions, you still score more than they score because you've learned how to dominate. And you need that same mentality. I'm talking about looking yourself in the mirror, looking yourself in the eye and saying, I'm gonna dominate today better than any other day. Learn how to get excited when that feeling creeps in of I don't wanna do it. And when those test days become something that you live for, something you look forward to, now you're talking about a whole different level of mindset. You're talking about an unstoppable force of nature that cannot be f***ed with. Mental toughness is the ability to resist, to manage, overcome doubt, overcome worries, overcome concerns, overcome circumstances that prevent most people from succeeding or performing under pressure. Every human being that is not successful versus every human being that's successful, the only difference between them is mental toughness. One group, when they come up against trials and tribulations, they shrink. One group of people, when they come up against a recession, they shrink. Weak-minded people, they buckle, they complain, they look for every excuse, but mentally tough people, we saw the storm, and we pull on our surfboard, and we begin to surf on the waves that drown most people. You have to understand that your greatest commodity, not your shoes, not your car, not your clothes, it's your mind. Your mind is the most important thing you have, and you gotta control it. I don't care what's happening, you have to control it. When you leave, what you fighting for? What's your legacy? What you gonna do? You say you a champ, but do you practice like a champ? You say you a champ, do you fight like a champ? You say you a champ, do you have a mentality of a champ? Champions keep going when they don't have anything left in their tank. When they don't have no more, when it's over, when they're tired, when they're frustrated, when they're ready to give up, when they spent their last dime, that's when they get started. It's when you have nothing left. It's when you depleted all your money, when all your energy gone, that's when it's showtime. When you find the way out of no way, when you find breath that you don't have, when you find energy that did not exist, when you want this thing as bad as you want to breathe, that's when you find a way. How much time you really waste? For real. How much time do you have left? When you start thinking about that, we don't know. Right now, we have the most valuable asset on earth on our side, time. But it's running out. And to make that first step towards greatness is the hardest step. And you're going to have to fight and fight and fight 
and fight. And most of you won't be successful, not because you can't do it, but you can't outlast your old you long enough to get to your new you. Because let's face it, when the alarm goes off, you got your head on that soft pillow. It's all nice and cozy and warm in there. You do not feel like getting up. You should not. That snooze alarm is the dream killer. When you press that snooze button, you're killing your dreams. Every single day when you wake up, you got two options. You can look at the clock and hit the snooze. You can look at that snooze button, boom. You can hit the snooze button and go back to bed and dream about what you want to have. Or you can look at that snooze button, kick that clock and get up and go pursue your dreams. So easy. So easy to put things off. So easy to say you're going to do it tomorrow. Well, I want you to reprogram your brain and tell yourself that tomorrow is not a viable option. Tomorrow doesn't work. You do it today. You get it done today. That's what you do. If you can get through to doing things that you hate to do, on the other side is greatness. No more excuses. No more hesitation. No more procrastination. No more negotiation. No more go on the attack. You don't stop until it's done. Don't expect front row seats if you're giving those bleed effort. Everybody want to win. Everybody want to be on the winning team. Everybody want to win, but everybody don't want to work. Everybody wants a reward, but everybody don't ever want to work. We all got to work. I got to show up and show up 120. Every time where much is given, much is required, but you're going to get the rewards. Rewards come after you work, not before. The only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary. We're not going to wait. We're going to do work. We're going to put in work. Because every time you put in work, you get the same consequences. You get paid. You get rewarded. Discipline is you do it so long and so hard and you're so passionate about it that even when you don't feel like it, you still operate at the highest level. Beast mode is I will not stop when others stop. I will not quit when it gets hard. I will not complain. I will not worry. I will not fret. I will find a way when there is no way. I will make a door when there is no door. I will create a window when there is no window. I will create finance when there is no finance. I will find an opportunity when it doesn't exist. But I will not be defeated because I know what my desires are and I know what I deserve. The reason why you stop and you start and you stop and you start is because the goal is not meaningful enough. You don't have enough skin in it. You don't have nothing to lose if you don't do it. What I'm telling you is you got to create the type of scenario that if it doesn't work, you lose everything. And because you cannot lose everything, you got to make it happen. If you just decide, I'm going to keep my word. If I say something, I'm going to do it regardless. Being more considerate, more trusting, more disciplined. You owe it to yourself to give it your best effort. If you get in the habit of being mediocre or doing just enough to get by, you're not hurting anybody but you. You're cheating you. If you follow it through, if you keep your commitment to the commitment, you'll feel strong and powerful. That kind of commitment, that kind of spirit, that kind of personal power, that kind of vision is in you. Decide to be better. Decide to get better. Decide to get after it. Because of our mental conditioning, we unconsciously build a case on why we can't do something. You can't do that. You don't have any college training. You can't do that. You don't have the money. You don't have the contacts. It's a natural inclination for us to put ourselves down. See, we are born negative, I think, in a negative consciousness because we live in a negative world. Don't let this negative world get to you. Don't let it win. Stop beating up on yourself. You do do it. I know you do it. I've done it. Life is serious. And you have to be serious about taking care of your mental state. So I'm saying learn to be your own booster. Start building yourself up. Start encouraging yourself. If you don't program your mind, your mind will be programmed because human beings are goal oriented. Turn a deaf ear to people that all they can do is talk about how negative things are because they have bought into the consciousness of the world. Start listening to tapes on a daily basis to begin to recondition your mind, to retrain your thinking. Listen to things that can empower you, that can enable you to create a new reality for yourself and a new life for yourself. You might appear to be strange around most people, but you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. You ignore that inner voice and all of the external voices. 
Don't judge the possibilities for what you can do based upon the circumstances. Because the circumstances won't determine who you are. Start saying, I can do this. I can make this happen. Come on, man, get your stuff together. You can do this. You can handle this. This is not a big deal. You're amazing. This too shall pass. You can handle this. You just haven't figured it out yet. You can do this. Other people have done it. Doesn't take an Einstein. Take some seminars, workshop, read some books on how to manage your business. You've got your gifts. You've got your talents. Stay focused on what you're doing. Focus your energy. That kind of talk, saying that to yourself, drives back the other voices of negativity that we all have. You've got to be willing to prepare yourself and do the best you can. Take your best shot. Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want because you expect to get it. Do you have the courage to believe in your own ideas? Do you have the courage to think something beyond where you are? Because if you can think, you can change, you can move, you can evolve, you can grow, you can become. You are one thought away from a great reformation in your life, one thought away from being a millionaire, one thought from overcoming. You are one thought away from the great greatest experience you have ever had in your life. Your credit is not a problem. Your house is not a problem. Your situation is not a problem. Your thoughts are the problem. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Everything starts in the thoughts you think. If you think little, you go little. If you think weak, you go weak. If you think up, you go up. One thought. Look out from where you are. What you see is what you'll be. If you see nothing, you'll be nothing. So now is the season for you to move distractions, confusion, turmoil out of the way to find a peaceful place where you can meditate and think, what am I going to do at this season of my life? What could I do with the circumstances of my life? What would you do with what you have to make it better? One thought delivers you from hopping around in the failures of your past to standing up like a man and say, I'm going to be defined by what's in front of me and not what's behind me. You will not beat me because I think myself to be strong enough to fight you back off of me. You are not where you're supposed to be because of you. It's all you. You tell yourself lies. Reasons. I'm too tired. I need to rest. I'm too hungry. I'm too full. Something else is more important. I don't have time. Lies, 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 lies. People ask where discipline comes from. I tell them it comes from within. But there's a deeper level. Discipline comes from the truth, the framework of discipline. And if you lie to yourself, you will not find discipline. The truth is that you know. You know you could do more. You know you could be more. That's what's driving you crazy. All your excuses are lies. The truth will set you free. The truth delivers discipline. But the truth is, you have time. You have the skill. You have the knowledge and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. Don't really want to work out? I work out. Don't really want to hammer on a project? I hammer on a project. Don't really want to get up and get out of bed? I get up and get out of bed. Don't give in to the immediate gratification that is whispering in your ear. Shut that down. Do not listen. Instead, go through the motions. Lift the weights. Sprint the hill. Work on the projects. Get out of bed. Anybody can do the sh- they want to do when they feel like doing. Anybody could show up to work and give 100% when they're in the mood to do so. But what happens on the days that you don't feel like killing? What happens on the days you don't feel like going to the gym? What happens on the days that you don't feel like getting out of bed? Because those are the f***ing days that are going to define where you end up in your life. Nobody wakes up in the morning every day of their life fired up. The reason I'm successful is because I execute whether I have the f***ing fire or whether I don't have the f***ing fire. And that's discipline. That's discipline to do the sh** that you don't want to do because you know it needs to be f***ing done.
Do something away from the normality of what you've been doing. Why not try it, man? Shock the system. Get up at four in the morning one day. Just one day. And go for a fucking run. Commit to one day and see how you feel as you're jogging it back in around five or something as your neighbors are still asleep. Well, your day's already provided something for you. Mentally, you'll feel like, wow, man, that was a fucking lie. When everybody else says, no, this is not comfortable, we shouldn't do this, you say, yes, motherfucker, I'm going to introduce myself to it. When we talk about regret, I can one thousand percent guarantee you that how you feel about your life at the end of your time here is going to come down to your ability to cultivate discipline it's going to come down to you developing the ability to do the things that you don't feel like doing because you know that it's the right thing to fucking do because we are what we repeatedly do every day therefore excellence is not an accident but a habit it's a visceral it's in us every single day the people that are top movie stars over and over and over again you guys are not lucky it's training it to win it to earn it over and over again you gotta do your best work when you're the least motivated so those days you don't want to do it guess what you gotta do you gotta suck it the fuck up and do it nobody is void of a pit at some moment just because you're in a pit does not mean it's over you keep standing no matter how rough the sea, you keep standing. No matter what you don't give up. Because I got to keep moving. Even though everything in me wants to just lay down and quit. You can't read somebody else's book about some theory on how to do shit. Some guy who sat up in their nice warm office and wrote some book with a nice cup of coffee in the fucking hand. No, I want to see that guy who immersed himself in fucking hell. And he thought about quitting and leaving and his wife and his kids and why am I here? Is it worth it? All this crazy shit and found out a way to get through it. Because in the worst of f***ing times, you are alone. You must get your f***ing self out of the f***ing sewer. No one's coming in the f***ing sewer to get you. It's your brain. You are the only person that can pull yourself out. It's those people who are able to control that feeling of flight and say, no, I'm a f***er. There's a way through this. There's always a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. For every situation you confront, there is a strategy that will bring you out. The only thing that's gonna make you happy is to step up. It's to raise the standard, it's to discover what you're capable of and feel that incredible power pushing through whatever's holding you back and get to the other side of more of your true self. I don't care if you have to inch your way day by day. And it hurts, and nobody can see what you're really going through. If you don't quit, the pit will become your platform. I'm telling somebody right now, your lowest moment will be the place of your greatest testimony. You got more than you think. You can do more than you think. You can go further than you think. You can have more than you think. And stop blaming somebody else over what you don't have. It's time for you to know what you got in your hand. If you take a minute and look at your life, every time you're about to step into new territory, all hell breaks loose and sends a storm to stop you from getting there. The situation that you're dealing with right now will come to pass. It will come to pass. It came to pass. Get over it. Don't worry about it. Don't build a house in it. It will not last. You will still be standing there telling your children, I remember the time. I thought I was going to die, but some kind of way we made it out of that. This will come to pass. When you step into your fears and continue to push yourself to go on, it will enable you to transcend yourself. I lost a lot of stuff. I lost a lot of friends. I lost a lot of strength. I lost a lot of time. I lost a lot of money, but I was still believing. Down on my knees, I was still believing. Broke, I was believing. Lonely, I was believing. Betrayed, I was still believing. You gotta toughen up, and you gotta stand still, and you gotta gird up the loins of your mind, and you gotta take a defensive stand against the enemy, against the spirit of give up, against the spirit of human reasoning, and you gotta stand there, 
and protect and preserve your heart and those unborn things that are inside of your spirit. You gotta fight to protect them. Now, a few of you know what it is to have something to so scald you, so burn you, so beat you, so pulverize you that your fight goes out of you. And you're so scattered and so broken and so fragmented that you don't even know whether you can ever live again or whether you will ever smile again or whether you will ever live to fight another day or whether you'll be able to pull yourself together just to fake a smile for a few minutes in front of people to say, I'm doing okay, knowing you're lying on the inside. I'm talking about going through so much that something inside of you dies. And you wonder, can I get back up again? In that moment when life comes at you the fucking hardest, you will panic and you will forget who the fuck you are. Success will taste stressful because your opportunities come wrapped in opposition. Opportunity comes in chaos. It is good to be uncomfortable. I've never met anybody who was terribly creative or gifted or strong in leadership who was also comfortable. Those exceptional people who are uncomfortable with the times and rise to the challenge because they refuse to allow the chaos around them to determine the conqueror within them. People who resist the toll to go down and stand fiercely in spite of opposition and say, I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care what it is. I don't care how many times you've had to cry yourself to sleep. I don't care how difficult it is. Don't you dare give up now. Because whatever is over you defines you. And whatever defines you limits you. You better put some strength in your back, plant your feet, square your shoulders, and stand up to it. Don't you dare sit down. Don't you dare crumble under the weight of it. Don't you dare give in because of the nature of it. Don't you dare go home and raise the white flag of surrender. This is not your season to die. This is not your season to quit. There's joy, there's peace, there's breakthrough, but you'll never see it if you don't stand up to it. I'm not trying to veer to the left or veer to the right or gradually get it together. I'm getting ready to do something so radical and so massive. I'm going to turn the whole thing 180 degrees. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. I will break you. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. You can't take me. You will not break me. You will not stop me. You will not defeat me. The only way I lose is if I quit. It's going to be a dog fight. You can contain it for a while, but you cannot stop this. You can't stop it. You've been through so much hell. You won't quit now. Don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Sometimes in life, you have to hit back. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. I've been broken so much. I've been defeated so much. I've been disappointed so much in my life that I know what it feels like and I can handle it. And when you get to success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it's about stamina. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Once you get to that point, you cannot be broken anymore. Don't get your doggone stuff. And don't let nobody tell you no. Don't run from the chaos. Stand still and let the chaos run from you. There are many people who have the limitations in their minds, who have lost that fire in their eyes, who because of the experiences of life have said, no, I can't do that. A lot of people never try anything differently because they have been convinced by people in their lives that they can't do it. They're living within the context of the opinions that other people have of them, the low expectations. Many people doubt themselves because when they thought about doing something at some critical point in their lives, somebody they respected and honored, someone they trusted said, you can't do that. And they accepted that. People's opinion of you is none of your business. 
nor should you make it yours. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. It's not what they say about you that matters. It is what you say about you that threatens your destiny. You will never be defeated by what they say about you. You will be defeated by what you say about you. What would your life be like if you decided not to care what people thought of you? What would your life be like if you decided to give up some of your fears? What would your life be like if you decided to become courageous? So if you're at a place in your life and you ain't happy with it, you have to change some things. But you have to make a conscientious decision that you're going to change. And it's not dependent on anybody else. It don't matter what your mama think. It don't matter what your co-workers think. It don't matter what your siblings think. It don't matter what your children think. It don't matter. They have nothing to do with it. This decision is yours and yours alone. Ridicule is the price of iconic. You are going to divorce yourself from the crowd. You are going to be met by the naysayers, the critics. They are going to laugh at you. Your job is to fortify your interior core where it doesn't matter if people call you crazy. Your success in any level creates an opportunity for envy. The only way to avoid it is to stay down. If you lay dead, even the animals won't bite you. The risk of being bitten is the cost of getting up. Some of you are feeling like giving up right now. Don't do it. Don't, don't, just don't do it. We need you here. The emotions are simply emotions which means it can't last. So no matter what you're feeling, that emotion will not stay. So never make a permanent decision based on a temporary emotion. Don't believe everything you think. You see, we naturally feel that if we think something, it's gotta be true because it comes from within us. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. And it's not the end until you've given up. And just the fact that you're here, should persuade you there's still hope you don't even know how creative you are until you run out of options you don't know how innovative you are until you feel like your back is up against the wall i am excited about your future because your darkness is about to be your development everybody can stand up and do good when everything is all good Everybody can smile when it's sunshine. Everybody can do right when everything is going right. Everybody can do that. But everybody can't face opposition, adversity, and challenges and say, I've been waiting on you to come, I'm gonna embrace you, and I'm gonna figure out a way to use you because you will never make me a person that people don't recognize before the adversity. That's made up in my mind before the battle even happened. Because I know anyway, I know anyway, I would rather aim for the stars and not hit them than to not aim at all. I would rather go after it and not get it than not go after it at all. I'd rather try and fail than not try at all. I don't want to live with the idea, wonder what would have happened had I done more with my life. I'm going to go for it come hell or high water. I'm going after my destiny. I'm going to make a commitment and no matter what happens, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get it done. That's the will. That's the most important part. Like you've seen people like in the midst of opposition, they're like, that's why I play the game. I've been waiting on the opposition. Where you been? This is why I signed up to do it. I was waiting on it so I can see what I'm made out of. I just need you to keep moving. I need you to make up in your mind that the only way you can lose is if you quit. I just need you to keep going. If you don't have the will to get through all the stuff that you have to get through to get to the other side, the will. You are strong enough to climb any mountain. You are strong enough to get through any test. You have a will that was given to you at birth. I need you to exercise it. If you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But by all means, keep moving. There is nothing in your life that's worthwhile, that's quick and easy. Everything worthwhile is uphill. Does it come to you? You have to fight for it every day. You have to climb for it every day. Which sets up this problem for all of us. You're never going to feel like it. 
It's your job to make yourself do the crap you don't want to do so you can be everything that you're supposed to be. And you're so damn busy waiting to feel like it. And you're never going to. So I just need to think about three people in your family that you love, three people. So what I need you to do for me is I need you to think about those people every day when you're doing what you do. You have some days where you just want to hit the snooze button, raise your hand for me. You want to hit the snooze button. So watch this. This is what has to happen. That person that you think about has to be louder than the snooze button. So when you think about granny, you got to think about, do I hit the snooze button or do I get up and make it happen for granny? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Who are you doing this for? So the days you don't feel like getting up, just think about them. When you think about your siblings, when you think about mom and dad and grandma, when you think about your uncle and aunt, when you think about those people who've been there for you, just raise your hand if you say E.T. Sleep is better than that. When that alarm clock goes off at 4 or 5 in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do now. My new norm is, you get up every fucking morning at 4 o'clock and you suffer. That became my new fucking life. Most people want to get out of it. I said, no, motherfucker, this is your new life. This is who you are. It's about executing regardless of your emotions. These test days, they test your fortitude. They test your endurance, your discipline, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness. At the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing, you got to get the job. Stop having dialogue with your emotions. Stop negotiating with your feelings and start to act. Your mind is a weapon and you got to begin to use it and pick that weapon up and control it. I want to know what the f I'm made of. I want to know what I can overcome. And I know that the harder the task, the harder the obstacle to overcome, the more strength I'm going to gain from it. It's an opportunity to prove that you're a winner. It's an opportunity to prove you are what you say you are in your head when you look in the mirror. When you look in the mirror and you say, there goes a bad mother you actually believe it. That's the importance of passing these tests. Successful people love the experience of not feeling like doing shit, but then going and kicking ass anyway. They understand that those are the real victories in life. They understand that it's easy to do shit when you feel like doing shit, but they also understand that the real magic, the real glory is earned when your heart is not into something, but your mind tells you, F you, I'm going to do this shit anyway and does it. That's where people separate themselves from the pack. That's where people earn the right to success. They earn the money. They earn the life. They earn the relationship. They earn the body in those little moments where they don't want to do what they need to do, but move forward regardless of how they feel. That's what champions know, champions understand, and champions can thrive on. And you don't get here by quitting when you're tired. You get here by quitting when you finish, when you're done. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you complete it, when you execute it. Execution is worship. When you're working and you're trying to make things happen for your family, for yourself but life keeps hitting you relentlessly when everything is telling you to quit what keeps you going i want to remind y'all of the power of the mind you can think your way into stress you can think your way into misery frustration but if you change your mind to change your life you just have to decide in your mind what you want it to be you just have to wake up you just have to break that negative spirit you have to break through as we begin to look at what we want what's going to be crucial for you is to look toward the future and every time you find yourself saying that you can't do something putting yourself down being negative about you and the possibilities for you you've got to literally catch yourself and you've got to affirm to yourself in the process, hey, 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 no, 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 I can make it. There's some way this can happen for me. It's the what if I can pull off a fucking miracle. What if I can become someone that no one thinks I can be? 
You've got to say yes to your life. You've got to say yes. Yes to my dreams. Yes to me. I can make it. Yes, I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about my defeats. Doesn't matter about what I've done. Yes. Yes. I don't care about the fact I'm in a hole now. Doesn't matter about where I am. Yes. The last chapter to my life has not been written yet. If you judge me now, you'll judge me prematurely. I haven't exposed all my stuff yet. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. Yes! Stand up for your dreams. Stand up for what you want in your life. Decide that your life is so meaningful to you, that you love you and you love life so much that you're going to stand up for something you want. You have miracle working power in your life right now. But you've got to work on yourself. You've got to develop yourself. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out. Selling yourself on you and on your potentials. And you've got to know that you are worth all of your effort. There's no mistake that you can't rebound from. There's no mistake that you can't get back up from. You better be resilient. I don't care what happened. You can bounce back up again and make it happen. What I've gone through will not define me. The best is yet to come. I'm a fight to the finish. Because giving up is not an option. Being poor is not an option. Being set out in the cold is not an option. No, you're busy rebuilding. You are busy recalculating and making a radical change in yourself and asking yourself, what is it about me that I must change? You want to be committed to taking care of yourself. As you go into action, as you hold that thought in consciousness persistently, you will begin to realize powers and abilities you have. You will realize you have miracle working power in you. When you're a warrior, you're willing to fight for your dream. You're willing to realize that you will fail your way to success. You're willing to make it okay if people don't like you or disagree with you. You're willing to fight even though the odds are stacked against you. You are willing to have a spirit of optimism when you've lost everything materialistically. But if you got a pulse, if you woke up this morning, you, when you're a warrior, you're willing to fight. You fight? And you either win, or you die trying. There are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. You so, so sort of put a mask on your face and pretend that everything's okay when it's not and you go home and lay in your bed when no one's looking at you, when you don't have to impress anybody and you're yourself and fear comes in maybe you have doubt in your life maybe you don't know for sure what's going to be happening in the future and it scares you maybe you're worried about what people think of you what people say about you just that fear paralyzes you and I just want to ask you today do you think you have hope every time you hit a low place don't those voices come back up again Every time things go wrong, don't those voices come back? You start saying to yourself, I'm a mess up, I'm a failure, I'd be better off not being here. We just keep feeding ourselves this toxic thinking. You have never changed your belief. And you will never completely be healed or whole until you change the voice inside of your own head. What I've learned is that I have to start talking to myself. I'm like, Rich, you're great. You can do this. Rich, you can handle this. Rich, this is not a big deal. You're amazing. Rich, this too shall pass. The predicament that you are in right now does not define your destiny. You ought to look at every negative situation in your house and say, you're a liar. Every time something whispers in your ear and says, you can't make it through this. You can't take this. You're going to have a nervous breakdown. You're going to lose your mind. You're going to die like your mama did. You're going to get sick like your daddy did. You got to talk back to those voices and say, hey, you lied on me. I'm better than this. Every voice that says you'll never be nothing, you got to call it out. You're a liar. Sickness is a liar. Failure is a liar. Despair is a liar. Disease, you're a liar. Can't learn, you're a liar. Can't read, you're a liar. Can't make it, you're a liar. Can't take it, you ought to call out every liar. You need to abort every voice that said you can't do it, you can't help it, you can't be it, you'll never get up, you'll 
never survive. Avoid that thing. Push it out. You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities, your ideas, unquestionably. You've got some ideas, some dream, but you might have to go back and brush it off and look at it again and say, I've got to do this. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is why I showed up. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out, selling yourself on you and on your potentials. And all I want you to do every day is just say to yourself, when you feel that inner negative conversation, saying you can't do it just say it it's possible other people have done it then we can do it we fail a lot of times well a lot of other folks fail and eventually they came back and they succeeded so it's possible we can have what we want and it's necessary we get negative do nothing people out of our lives it's necessary we never stop learning and growing and developing ourselves it's necessary that we never give up whatever we have to do it's worth it what if you give it everything you have and you come up short? What if you get weak along the way and you're throwing a towel on yourself, you surrender? What then? A lot of people become discouraged, they become frustrated, and they say, oh, what the heck? And they go back to doing what they were doing before saying it doesn't work. If somebody came and knocked you down, boom, and ain't nothing you can do about it. But if I come back a week later and you're still on the ground, we got a problem. And some of you, you say, Eric, it ain't my fault. You're right. The way you were born, what happened to you is not your fault. But doggone it, you're still on the ground after 20 years. You have absolutely nothing to do with what happened to you. It's not your fault. You got knocked on the ground. You had absolutely nothing to do with that. And I'm not blaming you for that. But if I come back a week later, you're still on the ground. That's your fault. If I come back a year later, you're still on the ground? That's your fault. If you get knocked down, there's nothing you can do about it. But getting back up has every single thing to do with you. And you will promise me that from this day forward, you will not be defeated. You don't belong at the bottom. And it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get your butt up and get to where you're supposed to be. Keep playing the game. Keep grinding. Keep working. And that other stuff will take care of itself. I can because I'm capable. I will because I'm strong. I must because they count on me. I can. I will. I must. I will my way through every situation, every trial, every trial. I will my way through it. I don't care if it's cancer. I will my way through it. I don't care if it's MS. I will my way through it. I don't care if I'm struggling in school and I'm trying to get a degree. I will my way through it. I don't care if you fail the boards. Go again. I don't care if you fail the law exam. Go again. Will your way through it. Some things you can skill yourself to. Some stuff you gotta will your way through. This is not a year that you're gonna be doing a lot of talking. This is the year for grinding. This is not the year of dreaming. We're not dreaming no more. We're not wishing no more. We're not watching other people ride the ride no more. This is our year where we don't need phenomenal skill. We just need a phenomenal will. So they're gonna say no when you knock on the door. I will. It's gonna rain sometimes. I will. You're gonna feel this good sometimes. I will. No matter what the obstacle, I will. I will. I will. I will. I Everybody know what to do when everything goes right. Everybody know to show up and give everything they got when the sun shines. Everybody, when they get what they want, they're going to come and they're going to be great. But it's very few people that reach deep down and got the character that in the midst of opposition, in the midst of a challenge, to look at it with the right perspective and not only look at it with the right perspective, process it the right way and figure out a way to use it. What is it that will make it worth it for you? When you want to give up and things are working against you to face the rejections, what is it that will make it worth it for you? to brainstorm and not be intimidated and say, I can do this. What is it that will make it worth it for you to make know your vitamin that you become empowered by it? What is it that will make it worth it for you to raise the bar on yourself and say, I've got some more stuff in me when you want to keep driving past the office because of the stress. What is it that will help you get back up again? Some of us choose to stay down, but it's that motherfucker who constantly gets up as fast as they can, those are the motherfuckers that make it in life. 
all you do is you fall down, get back up again, fall down, get back up again, fall down, get back up again. That's how you win. You've got to activate the thinker in you. Don't allow your emotions to control you. We are emotional, but you want to begin to discipline your emotion. If you don't discipline and contain your emotions, they will use you. You want to monitor your inner conversations, the things that you say to yourself. You want to watch them, and in watching them, you want to take charge. Oh, you really don't feel like it. You really don't need to do it. Forget all that. That's that inner conversation. Oh, you don't need to worry about trying to go into your own business. Forget that. You can't do that. What if you lose everything you've got? That inner conversation that stopped you from doing the things you want to do less, don't do that. Forget all that. And then I said, shut up. You'll get scared sometimes. Your mind will go blank on you. You've got to learn to stand up to yourself inside yourself and short circuit override that conversation that's always going on 85 percent of what that conversation will tell you is negative it will tell you you're tired when you really are not tight it will tell you you can't do it it will fill you with fear so you've got to watch that conversation and when you find it going on you've got to stand up to it and say i'm gonna do this anyhow i'm afraid but i'm afraid not to do it and i'm not going to let you stop me you got to stand up inside yourself sometimes and say, shut up. Some people you will allow to unnerve you. You can't do this. You don't have everything it takes. Now, shut up. I have got to do it. That's why you've got to learn to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to stand up inside yourself. Working on yourself, watching that inner dialogue, it will determine the quality of your life. The biggest challenge that you will have in life is you. Because there's no enemy within. The enemy outside can do us no harm. You've got to sell yourself every day on your abilities, on what you're doing, on the goal that you want to reach. You're bombarded with negative stuff every day that beats you down and you will find yourself unconsciously engaged in self-destructive behavior. If you don't program yourself, life will program you. Don't complain. Don't talk negative. Average people use their time to complain. Average people talk problems. The greats talk solutions. Live your life with passion, with some drive. Decide that you're going to push yourself. You want to live life with energy and passion. You want to be happy. You've got a lot to be thankful for. Most people won't do that. Most people give up on themselves easily. You know the human spirit is powerful? There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. You gotta get this beast mode. Everything about you has to say, I ain't playing. If it's to have, I'm gonna get it. And I ain't leaving none of it behind. It's my beast mode. If you're going to get your butt out to bed, ride from sunup to sundown, you can have the life that other people dream of. There is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. You gotta get tired of losing. You gotta get to the point of your life where you say, I have had it. I've had it with going in a restaurant, looking on one side to see what I want to eat and then look on the other side to see what I could afford. I'd had it living like that. I'd had it borrowing money from people. I'd had it living like a cringing animal when you don't have any money and runs your blood pressure up. You hear me? Poverty sucks. Make no mistake about it. And you've got to decide, I have had it. I'm not going to live like this anymore. No, there's got to be more for me. And let me tell you something. You deserve it. You deserve a better life. There is more to your life than you've been living. You deserve it. There's a certain delusional quality that all successful people have to have. You have to believe that something different can happen. The first step before anybody else in the world believes it is you have to believe it. He who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. Only those who risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. 
I want to see how far I can go. I want to see what I can accomplish. I want to see what I can do, what I can be, what I can have. I want to see. I don't want to see what I think I can do. I don't want to see what I think is possible. I want to see what my life will look like if I didn't count the cost. When you want something bad, you can't count the cost. Because if you count the cost and you see how much it costs, you might quit. You might give up. So you got to go in knowing that I don't count the cost. I do as many push-ups as it takes, as many sit-ups as it takes, as many reps as it takes. I study as long as it takes. I pay whatever the price is. Why? Because if I start counting the cost, I might quit. I might give up. I might surrender. Don't count the cost. You get to a point where you don't count it. You just do whatever it takes to get whatever you want. Following your dreams is a lonely, solitary, scary, dangerous pursuit. You can't wait for somebody to think you can do it. Because they don't think you can do nothing they can't do. Nobody knows but you. Nobody knows what you are. Even sometimes you don't really even know what you are. You got to take your shot. Have opinions and feelings about yourself independent of the feedback. Look at your belief system every single day and stick with it. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. You got to be fearless. You got to be relentless. You've got to learn how to become resourceful. You've got to learn how to become creative. At the core of a creative person is they believe there is always an answer. If you don't think there's an answer, how creative are you going to be? How long are you going to hang with that idea? How long are you going to try to work it and percolate it and create it and make it something bigger? And you've got to be so relentless, regardless of what comes down the pike, that you're always looking for a way to get over, always looking for a way. That you can break through, always looking for a way. That you can win, always looking for a way. That you can strike a telling blow. But you got to understand, you can always get a little bit better. You can always excel a little bit more. You can always push it a little further. You can always climb a little bit higher. You can always better your best. You can always go beyond anything that you have ever done. And so all you're looking for are new breakthroughs. You'll practice and practice. You'll get better and better. And when you know what you want, you will do anything it takes to get it. You're going to do whatever it takes to hear me you're gonna go your own way you're gonna do what they want to you're gonna be smart and you are gonna win the fruit of everything good in life begins with a challenge everything is a pill that's worthwhile and there's not going to come to you and it's not going to fall in your lap and it's not going to be something that oh my god it just was so simple it's always going to be difficult you need a why. Why do you need a why? Because some days you're going to look at that alarm clock and you're going to say, I don't want to get up. But that why is going to say, I'll push yourself. Get up. Your mama needs you. Your daddy needs you. Your children need you. Get up. Your why is going to push you when you can't push yourself. When you want to quit and give up, your why is going to give you that edge you need, that advantage you need, that lift that you need to get to the next level. Your why. What your why does for you is say, you can't quit. You can't give up. You can't stop. If there's no money, you wake up so you're gonna print it. If nobody's giving you an opportunity to create, your goals are gonna push you. Your dreams are gonna push you. The opportunity of a lifetime is gonna drive you. You will study as long as it takes. You won't go to sleep until you have the knowledge that it takes to do what you're able to do. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. If you do what is easy, complain about your situation, your circumstances. Stand around and be a volunteer victim like everybody else. Surrender and give up on your dreams. Become depressed and bitter and angry. Anybody can do that. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, keep coming back again and again and again. Get up dressed every day, knowing some way, somehow, with a spirit of expectation, I can do this. If you do that over and over and over again, your life will be easy. You have to understand that easy, quick nonsense is made for the f***ing sheep and the sheep never f***ing win. Choose the hard path. The path of responsibility, hard work, and sacrifice. The path of discipline, humility, and ownership that ultimately leads to freedom. You want to exercise your freedom on the world, but you don't want to exercise it on yourself. Oh, you shut the world down for telling you what you can't do, but you won't say nothing you when you don't do what you're supposed to do. You're not getting up when you're supposed to get up. You procrastinate, but you let you slide. You want to hold them accountable? Hold yourself accountable too. You always want to blame other people. You want to hold other people to the fire, but you're not holding yourself to the fire.
There are things you like, you have absolutely no control. You are like a slave to you. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? And you need to get rid of them excuses. You need to stop pointing fingers at people. And you need to start pointing fingers at yourself. What did you not do? And the reason why we fast from time to time is not that we have to fast, but at some point, you got to fast because you got to tell the flesh who's in control. I'm in control. You're not in control. I know you don't want to wake up. You don't have an option. Get up. We trying to eat. There's a certain lifestyle we want. Because I owe it to myself. And can't nobody stop me but me. You are not where you want to be, not because you need any more gifts. You need to discipline yourself. You need to learn to tell you no, tell you stop, tell you quit. You got to get to a point where you're disciplined. It might require you saying no to your friends. It might require you changing your diet. Whatever it takes, you got to be willing to do it. And you keep saying you're not there because of something else, because it's easier to blame somebody else. I have to take complete ownership. I have to look at all the things that I didn't have control over and say, I got to take control. Why? When you master yourself, you put yourself in a position that a lot of people can't do what you do, and then you become rare, and diamonds are rare. That's why they cost so much. You have to be willing to grit it out. You have to be willing to push through discomfort. Nothing that you're about to try or do that is worthwhile is going to be comfortable for you during the process of creating it. Stop with this hope, sh stop with this I wish, and start replacing those terms with I will fucking do, no matter what. It's a commitment, it's not a feeling. Commitments don't have nothing to do with your feelings. You do it because you're supposed to. It's a lifestyle. It's not hitting that f***ing snooze button in the f***ing morning and not making your bed and not cleaning your house. You don't hit the snooze button. You get up. You don't want to go run? You go run. You don't want to go swim? You go swim. You don't want to make your bed? You make your bed. You don't want to clean your house? You clean your house. You don't want to study? You can study. That's how you start to callous your mind. It's going to suck. It's not going to be fun. Do something that sucks every single day of your life. That's how you grow. Make every day your masterpiece. The secret of your success is determined by what we do daily. And here's the crazy part. All you gotta do is look in the mirror. All you gotta do is deal with yourself and then we're gonna get to a whole other level. Embrace the pressure. Pressure creates diamonds. Start to take the pressure that you feel from what it is you want to do and turn that into productive action. Let it be the thing that makes you get where you wanna go when everybody else is just taking it easy. No more playing after today. I need you to take control over every single area and we're gonna do it one day at a time and you're gonna get control and then someday gonna be your day. If you live long enough, a lot of stuff will come against you. What do you want me to tell you? That it's going to be a picnic? No, it's not. Will there be times when you can't make ends meet? Yes, that's a part of it. Will you have some opposition? Will there be times you won't know what to do? Yes, that's a part of it. And everybody has what's called a turn back moment. Where the direction you're going, you will have to make a decision to keep going or you turn back. The sad thing is, the average person turns back. But the thing you have to keep in mind before you give up is that if you give up, the guarantee is it will never happen. That's the guarantee of quitting. The only way the possibility remains that it can happen is if you never give up no matter what. The pressure in your life right now has a purpose. It's not crushing you. It's pushing what's on the inside of you out. It shows you who you are. Opportunity comes in chaos. When crises strike in your life, and in the Chinese language, crises mean danger, but it also means opportunity. A chance to stand up, a chance to get it right, a chance to make a new turn. And guess what? You are strong enough to do it. And your life is worth whatever you have to go through. And you can kick on out of those circumstances, whatever they are, where you say, I'm going to keep on kicking. I'm never going to give up. How are you going to make it? I don't know, but I will. 
Where there's a will, there's a way. There's a way that you can begin to handle this. There's a way out here somewhere. There's a solution. If I really work hard and use my mind and I get creative, there's something out there that I haven't discovered. There's always an answer. You can do more than you think you can do. You can have more than you think you can have. The possibilities for you are unlimited. If you're coming back from adversity and devastation, it's unlimited of what you can do. There's no guarantee that because somebody is now down on their luck, they can never come back. Who can guarantee that you can't make? No one can do that. You don't know what the possibilities are for your life. You want your stuff? It's necessary you take responsibility for it. That you make it happen, that you don't give up, that you don't take any objection or disappointment or defeats personally, that you keep on keeping on, that you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, that you realize that's a part of the program. The difference is not the genetic code, the potential. It's a guy that's willing to get knocked down, finally tell some unfortunate stand back up. The perseverance to see it through, the never say die attitude. And I go in there, man, and if I don't I don't win, I showed up, I gave my valid effort. And tomorrow I'll do the same thing. And I'll continue to throw shit against the wall. Every day I'll, I'll throw more up there, try it again, try it again. And I'll never get comfortable. I don't feel rejected, I try. How do you feel rejected when you try? The person who didn't try should feel rejected. The person that didn't try should feel defeated. The person that didn't try should feel some type of way. I tried. I don't feel rejected, I feel good about myself. I tried. I don't feel bad. I gave it 120%. You can't never feel bad when you put forth 120%. You can't let the outcomes make you feel whack. I'm not whack, I'm a warrior. I'm not whack. You know how much I went through to make that thing happen? And I will not stop in the middle of the process. I will not be defeated. I will not be destroyed. I will take everything that happens in my life and I will allow the pain to push me to greatness. You will not break me. You will not stop me. You will not defeat me. The only way I lose is if I quit. And I've made up in my mind that I will get a reward for the pain that I go through. You can't defeat me. We spend our whole lives trying to fit in. We want to be normal. But the people we idolize the most are the ones that stand out. If you want to be great, you want to be the best motherfucker ever at what you do, you're going to be misunderstood by everybody. Because you're going to be so fucking obsessed and so driven to get there. That's what it takes. When you are misunderstood to the point where people think you're psycho and you're nuts and you're this and that, why are you in the fucking gym at 1 o'clock in the fucking morning? What's wrong? When people don't understand you anymore, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. To be the best at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of f***ing energy and strength that you have to pull it off. And it takes being f***ing obsessed to where people think you're crazy. If you really want this, you gotta learn to sacrifice. You gotta learn to give up to go up. While they was golfing, I was studying. While they was shooting hoops, I was studying. While they was playing games and sitting up and eating and joking in the restaurant, I was studying. You can't get out of something, something that you're not willing to put into it. You have to put your everything, your everything, your mind, your energy, your effort, your discipline. Nothing is going to jump out the fire. If you don't throw something in there, it's not going to happen. But if you dare to be great, if you dare to go to limits that you've never went to before, they will remember your legacy forever. You know what you gotta do to get to paradise? You gotta fight like f***ing hell to get to f***ing paradise. Paradise starts in hell. So the ones that can fight, the ones that come back, those are the ones that succeed. If there's something you once envisioned and now it's real, it's because you didn't just envision it, you brought so much emotion to it that you unleashed all your desire. You became obsessed with it. You started with a concrete vision of what you wanted and you focused on it continuously, didn't you? Wherever focus goes, energy flows. You have to be obsessive. You have to be addicted. You have to be disciplined. If you want to show you want to win that bad, pack your calendar. You pack your calendar, that's how you show the world that you want to win because everything is based off of activity. It's mathematically impossible for you not to win at the highest level if your calendar is packed from day till night, every single day, the entire year, day after day after day after day after day without you winning. You got to work smarter and you got to work harder. 
you gotta f***ing do both. Those times when you get up early and you work hard, those times when you stay up late and you work hard, those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway, that is actually the dream. Greatness is not something that you meet once, it's something that you meet thousands of f***ing times in your life, and you don't reach it if you're not constantly in constant f***ing pursuit of greatness. And when you do this long enough, winning becomes not something that you aspire to do. Winning becomes who the f*** you are. Ask yourself, what remarkably stupid things am I doing on a regular basis to absolutely screw up my life? What would happen if you just stopped wasting the opportunities that are in front of you? Because you're not everything you could be and you know it. And you could be way better. You could be incomparably better across multiple dimensions. Easy choices, hard life. Hard choices, easy life. What we most fear doing, asking, saying, these are very often exactly what we most need to do. There's a lot of things in life that we can control, but we choose not to. Let's say tomorrow, you now sit in your mind, you get up at six o'clock in the morning. That alarm clock goes off at six o'clock in the morning. Your first instinct is, whatever I said yesterday, I was comfortable. It was a nice day yesterday. I made this f***ing plan at 8 o'clock at night. Now it's 6 o'clock in the f***ing morning. I'm tired. You hit that snooze button, you've now lost the war. Let's say you get at 6.45 now because you snooze a few times. You go in the shower, now your day's all late. So now you feel real guilty. Now you f***ing missed your workout. You're running late for work now. And guess what the world's going to do? It's going to f*** you up. You must win the war in the morning. So then when you go into life that you cannot control, you've already mentally won so many battles early in the f***ing morning. So you're going into f***ing war having already won something. So you're not going to war defeated. You're going to war knowing I did my push-up, I did my sit I read, I meditated. Whatever you do, you're prepared for what the f life is going to bring you. You have to be that person who no matter what's going on, still says f*** it. I am going to do what I have to do to get to where the f I have to go. I don't think about getting up. I just can get up. And you just do it. You make it a habit. You got to get over your mind going, I can't do this. It's too hard and all that. You got to push yourself through when you feel exhausted and say, there's a second win in me. I'm going to find it. But if you find yourself saying, I can't do something, I don't want to do something, but you know if you make yourself do it, you're going to be a better human being, then you must do it. Don't hesitate to do it immediately. Some people say, well, that's not a very safe life. That's not a very secure life. If you want security, go to prison. If you want freedom, this is how you live. Don't even use the word commit. Don't even think about the word discipline. Just do the thing every single day, whether you feel like it or not. Your only commitment is to the activity, not to the grand scheme, not to the big picture, not to the implications of what it is that you're doing. It's to do the thing. Habits are the building blocks of our lives. Not the goals or the grand schemes or the vision or the big idea. It's what you can do every single day that matters more than anything. No excuses. Do it. Go and pull a no girlfriend. Do it. Tired or not tired. Do it. You said you was going to do it out your mouth. You're a man now. And a man is only as good as his word, not his emotions. No, emotions don't win championship. So whatever's going to cause you not to be your best, stop it. This is about you retraining your brain to understand this is a f***ing process that we learn of discipline and execution and competition with ourselves. And if you want to dictate the success that you're going to create, you've got to learn to master the sh that everybody else thinks is irrelevant. The biggest war you're ever going through is right between your own ears. It's in your mind. The mind is a very powerful thing. It has a tactical advantage over you all the time. It knows where you don't want to go. So it will guide you away from that. And that's why the mind will always win. Until you f***ing reprogram it. You gotta figure out a way to reprogram your mind to get outside the box. Whatever my mind said I don't want to do, I realize I must do that. The greats do things when they don't always want to. And that's the separation. Without discipline, in nothing. And discipline is doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. Because really, the only person that you're fighting every day is yourself. 
It's not your boss. It's not this or that. Yeah, those are all obstacles. A lot of you cannot control those obstacles. But you can control yourself. We have to regain control of our mind. How you gain mental toughness, how you become the person you want to be, is constantly facing the things that you don't want to face. Where will anything gets accomplished? You gotta work hard. I can't remember what the f*** in this paragraph to pass this test to get in the military. Read it again. Still not getting it. Read it again. But if you're not getting it, write it out. And guess what happened? I got it. I can't swim. I'm negative buoyant. Go back again. I can't swim. Go back again. Go back again. Go back again. I got it. I realize if I keep going back and going back and going back, your mind was safe. Okay, we're gonna figure it out because he is not going to stop. To find real, permanent peace, you first must go through suffering. You must go through the dark side of who you are. Every day I demand more for myself than anybody else could possibly expect. I don't compete with other people, I compete with what I'm capable of. A person that's obsessed and wants to just get there, they don't do it with the temperature is. They don't really care, because they know no matter what's out there, no matter if it's snowing, if it's a damn tropical storm, if it's 20 below, they don't care, they're gonna run. It doesn't matter what the f**k's out there, what's in front of me, I'm just gonna go. And that's how you wanna get your mind. You have to train your brain by doing things that make you uncomfortable consistently. To build this mindset that when things get hard, we don't shy away, we don't quit, we attack. I'm seeing through all those walls. I'm getting to where I want to go. You have to literally visualize the connection between what you're doing on a day-by-day -day basis with what you're wanting. What do you want yourself to look like 10 years from now? What do you want your bank account to look like? What do you want to look like physically six months from now or a year from now? You have to connect the dots. You have to remind yourself that these little things that you do are going to lead to the big things. If you think that you've given everything, you really have it. If you think you're working hard, you're not working hard enough. You can always do more. You always have another gear, another level of performance. You can always push a little bit harder, get up a little earlier, work a little longer. Whatever it is you want more of, you have complete control over whether you get it or not. People don't have limits. We put limits on ourselves. Short-term thinking says, the donut tastes good, eat it. Short-term thinking says one workout doesn't matter. I can skip it. Short-term thinking encourages you to make short-term emotional decisions that hurt you in the long run. The more short-term decisions you make, decisions that are based on that immediate gratification, decisions based on quick emotional satisfaction, the further from the path you will stray. That's why I say you've got to pay attention. You have to watch every single second because those seconds turn into minutes and minutes turn into hours and hours turn into days and days turn into years. You need tactical wins. You need to win battles in order to win the war. You need to get out of bed, you need to run, you need to work out, you need to read and study and practice, and you need to do things that you don't necessarily want to do. And I know that can be hard. That's why people lose the war. The daily fight is a challenge. You will not always want to do what you need to do. You will not always feel like doing something you need to do. You may not want to fight that battle, but you need to. You need to know your strategic goals and you need to know why they are important. And then you need to get up, get out of your damn bed, get off your phone, get out of the soft and addictive comfort zone and get into the combat zone where you have to fight, where you have to dig deep. You have to be vigilant. You have to be on guard. You have to hold the line on the seemingly insignificant little things. Things that shouldn't matter, but things that do. You gotta stop telling yourself that you're doing enough. You have to do more. And life is never enough until you feel this overwhelming feeling. Oh, sh man. I'm out working the crowd. I'm out working everybody. I'm doing more. Once you get there, that's when you know you've done enough. 
Think strategic all the time. Before any action or any inaction, ask yourself, is this action going to make me stronger or weaker? You have to tell yourself the truth. And the truth is, you have time. You have the skill. You have the knowledge and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. Most people don't ever make it where they want to go because they give themselves mental outs. They can say, oh, this business doesn't make enough money. So they quit. You have to learn to train your brain with a zero options mentality. You have to learn to seek out, to be uncomfortable. You have to put yourself in positions where your back is against the wall. That's when you're gonna f***ing fight. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. Throw your whole self into it. See, most people go at it tentatively. They don't give all their stuff. They don't concentrate. And if you don't have what you want, stop telling yourself the story because you don't have the money, you don't have the time. That's bullshit. It's because you haven't committed yourself where you would burn your boats. If you want to take the f***ing island, burn your f***ing boats and you will take the island because people, when they're going to either die or succeed, tend to succeed. When you don't have any other option but to succeed, your chances of success are pretty f***ing good. It is, I am going to f***ing succeed no matter what I have to do, no matter how hard it is, no matter how difficult the road, no matter how many obstacles stand in my way, no matter how many people stand in my way, no matter what. On the days I don't feel like it, guess what? I'm still getting up, I'm still putting my f***ing work boots on, and I'm still going out and kicking f***ing ass. That's what people who succeed do. The battle. The battle is actually in your head. You're not going to hear noises, you're not going to hear gunfire, you're not going to hear any explosions. It's not that kind of battle. What's in your head is weakness and laziness. And they're not attacking. They're sneaking around. They're poisoning the strength in your brain. You are putting things off because in the short term, it's easier, it's more comfortable, it's more pleasurable to be distracted or to indulge yourself doing something else than it is to sit down and do the actual work to create the outputs that matter when they are needed. And I know what it's like to tell yourself, I'm gonna start on Monday. And then for the next five days, you gorge yourself or you're extra lazy or you treat yourself extra much because you know you're gonna do it this time. And this time I'm serious and this time I'm for real and I'm gonna get it done. Except you're not and you know you're not. And if you really want it to change, and if you really want to make a change and you really want to be different and you really want it to be this time, start f***ing now. I don't care if it's nine o'clock at night. Do something productive towards what it is you're trying to become. Because I can tell you right now for sure that the people who tell themselves, I'm going to start Monday, never f***ing start Monday. All you have to do to kill procrastination is just start. You just go and procrastination dies. So don't wonder how you overcome procrastination. It's easy. All you do to overcome procrastination is go. Stop waiting for something to move you and move yourself. Every day, move yourself. In the morning, move yourself. In the afternoon, move yourself. At night, move yourself. Be very intentional and very deliberate about moving yourself. You control your feelings. Don't nobody else control your feelings. So when you tell me I ain't feeling it no more, it don't got nothing to do with something external. It's something internal that you ain't pushing no more. You push you. You got to move you every single day. If you get to a point in your day and you down and out, if you get to a point in your day and you exhausted, you get to a point in your day and you not feeling it, you can stop right there and change the mood. Nothing controls you. You control your feelings. You control your mood. Nobody control your mood. You saw something that threw you off, well, see something that throw you back on. The only way to get out of the mental trap is to stop thinking and actually start doing it. Because all the research shows that if we can push you to get started on something, you'll likely keep going. Little things you're putting off, do it. And do it right now. When you make a decision to do something, you flip your brain onto the frequency that you have to be on to do it. You don't have to know how to do it. You only have to know you're going to do it. Just commit that you wake up 
and every single damn day, you push yourself to take one small action forward. There's always going to be a reason to wait. There's always going to be something that is inconvenient for you to work through. There's always going to be a busy schedule. It's always going to be that way. You have to fucking work through it. There's always going to be a reason for you to do what it takes now if you want it bad enough. But a lot of you motherfuckers just don't want it. And unless you're committed 100%, you just aren't going to make it. The processes of success are always inconvenient in the beginning. They don't stay that way. If you stick with it, if you give it time, if you work through the inconveniences, they become habit. It's just something automatic. And if you can create automatic actions that are positive in your life, you're going to create automatic winning. No more rationalizing, no more reasons, no more distractions. I dare you to shut out the world. I dare you to give up everything that is keeping you from your dream. F*** the clubs, f*** the partying, f*** the hanging out and getting drunk. Now is the time to stay focused. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna be you that makes it happen. The only motherfucking thing that beats you is you. The only thing that can stop you is you. And most of y'all are not under covenant. And covenant means me and you, if the company go down, we go down with it. We do not retreat. We do not give up. We do not surrender. And the reason why most of you are not successful is because every single time stuff not going your way, you give up, you quit, you let go. And people feel weakness. They feel it. You can feel when somebody's not committed, when they're not all in, when they're not dedicated. And there's another level you get to when you go all in. Everything is a test. Everything as an opportunity, if you allow it to be. You must shrink your focus down to one thing, one business, one focus at one time, and master it and get great at it for an extended period of time. The more you shrink your options in pursuit of your dream, the more it'll open them up in your life later. What are the things that are stealing your focus? Who are the people that are stealing your focus? And begin to eliminate these distractions. Get laser focused and obsessed on what you want. Be starving and hungry to get it. Be desperate to get it. The combination of desperation and hunger with laser focus over an extended period of time is the formula to be great at something. And the only way you prove to yourself that you really want it is that you no longer hit the snooze button. You no longer lose focus when you're studying. You no longer take shortcuts. You no longer playing games. You are willing to do whatever it takes. I'll do whatever it takes to get to that milestone. When you build this mental toughness by looking at every little thing as a test of your will and your ability to do what you say you're going to do, your life is going to get better. And the difference between beast and average people is that average people live from check to check. Average people don't think about their future. They're consumed with the present. You're not going to be the best if you're not intentional and deliberate. You got to be intentional and deliberate. Whether you're making money or not making money, you got to decide that you're going to do something and you got to do it every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday. The problem with some of you in this room, you're not intentional and deliberate. You're a good person that just hopes the good stuff is going to happen to you. You got to be a morning person, afternoon person, night person. You gotta be when you feel good person, when you sick person, when you tired person. I'm wired differently. I look at my wife every single day and I said, I gotta grind. I gotta grind for my wife. And so I execute for my mom. I execute for my grandma. I execute for my sister. That's why I can't quit and give up, even though I get tired just like everybody else. You have to be relentless. You have to never let off the gas, never stop, never quit. People who are extremely well accomplished, they have the ability to mentally flip that switch to where they don't have a choice but to do the things they need to do. They will talk as if they don't succeed, the world is going to fucking end. Listen to me, this is how you do it first with no money, no human resources, no building, no funding, no support. The first thing we did was we dreamed, we wrote the dream down, we slept the dream, we ate the dream, we rehearsed the dream, we looked at the dream, we talked about the dream, we slept with the dream, we woke up to the dream, we wore the dream, and now boom, it's all reality. You want this? You made up your mind. And yes, it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be difficult, and you get more no's than you do yes, but when you hold out, things will begin to happen, you won't even understand how. And you don't get here by quitting when you're tired, you get here by quitting when you finish, when you're done. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you complete it, when you execute it. 
Execution is worship! There's a moment when you say to yourself, it can't be done. At some point, everything's gonna go south on you. And you're gonna say, this is it. This is how I end. Now you can either accept that, or you can get to work. You just begin. You do the math, you solve one problem, and you solve the next one. Instead of backing down, you push yourself forward into the unknown. Do you realize that every day you thought you wasn't gonna make it? Do you remember them days where you thought it was absolutely unbearable and you thought you wasn't gonna endure that one? Do you know that your survival rate for every last one of them bad days is 100%? You batting a thousand. You survived every hater. You survived all the evictions. You survived the firings. You survived all the tell you, no, we ain't hiring. You survived all the trouble you ever been in. Your survival rate is 100%. You got to proactively prepare to catch yourselves. When you find yourself getting negative with people that you have allowed to push your buttons, when you find yourself becoming negative about what's happening to you and the circumstances that you're involved in. This belongs to you. This is yours. You're the captain. You're the master. You're the foreman. You're the general. You're the head. Don't give control of this to nobody. You're going to hit a wall. Everybody hits the wall. And that wall shocked some people. That wall knocked the life out of some people. That wall discouraged some people. The wall is painful. Some will choose to go back. But there's some small number who, when they hit that wall, they decide, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be over there. This person doesn't care about the pain. Because this person knows something. There's no gain without pain. So this person comes back anyhow, again and again and again. And if you keep on hitting that wall, here's what happens to you, that you will have an incredible breakthrough. And it's as if the universe says, let's help him out. I admire that kind of tenacity. Let's give her a hand. Let's send her assistance, send her resources. It will come out of nowhere. As you're working times with tears falling down your face, and you'll look back on the times and you will cherish those times. Whatever storm you found yourself in today, don't give up. And I know it hurts. And I know you don't want to take it anymore. Your dreams look like you're seeing them from underwater. But don't give up. You have not seen the best days of your life yet. But you have to start living your life in expectation. You have got to start expecting great things to happen for you in order for it to happen. If you live your life in expectations, that's what happens to you. If you live your life in despair, that's what happens to you. Say this to yourself every day. It's not over until I win. It's not over till I get through. It's not over till I get over. It's not over till I get what I want. Door can't open a day, look out. I'm gonna come back and take the hinges off. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how we must be. No guts, no glory. You've got to be willing to face rejection and no again and again and again. Defeat again and again and again. And every time life knocks you down, you jump up and say, it's not over until I win. It's not over. Oh, it's not over yet. Don't count me out yet. It's you, ladies and gentlemen. You've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. Nobody's going to care more about your dream than you. No one is going to care more about you becoming diamond than you. If you want to make it happen, it's you. But you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. People have this reoccurring nightmare that there's some thing, some force that's got a hold of them and it's holding them down and they can't break free. No matter what they do, they can't break free from that force. Well, I'm here to tell you that that thing in your nightmare, that thing that's holding you back, that thing that's dragging you down, that thing is you. You know who's gonna bail you out? You know who's gonna come and rescue you? You know who's gonna come and save the day? No one. You have no backup. You have no reinforcements. 
No one's gonna come and do it for you. You're gonna have to do it all yourself. No one's coming to save you. No one's coming to save you. The only person that's gonna make a drastic change in your life is you. You have to do it for you. There's gonna be more times that you don't wanna do something than you do want to. You are constantly going to have to do things that you do not want to do. You have to force yourself. Anything that's a break from your routine is going to require force. And the only way you'll get it is by forcing yourself to be uncomfortable. Get out of your head. Get out of your feelings. Your feelings are screwing you. I don't care how you feel. I care about what you want. And if you listen to how you feel when it comes to what you want, you will not get it because you will never feel like it. When your mind starts kicking and screaming about having to do these hard things, you must take control. You've got to discipline your emotions. Discipline is the path to freedom. Discipline is the driver of daily execution. Discipline defeats the infinite excuses that hold you back. Make discipline part of your daily life and your daily life will get better. You need to be the master of your emotions, not let them affect you. Get control of your feelings. By getting control of your feelings, you gain control of your life. When you do this over and over and over again, you change your brain. You become tougher. You become the one who decides what gets done and the level of success you achieve. Discipline is something you dictate. Motivation won't make you exercise every day. Discipline will. Motivation won't stay up late and finish a project for you. Discipline will. Motivation isn't going to get you out of bed in the morning. Discipline will. I see people writing on my page, oh, I listen to your videos and I get hyped. That's great. But what do you do after the five minutes is over? What do you do when you wake up the next day? What do you do when somebody's not there watching you? What do you do when you have to either do what it is you know you're supposed to do without somebody there to supervise you or you get to take the playoff because no one's going to know the difference. And that's discipline to do the shit that you don't want to do because you know it needs to be fucking done. Don't run from the difficult classes. Take them. Little pressure, little progress. Stop taking shortcuts. Stop taking the easy way. Go to the east because the sooner you go to the heat, the sooner there's rain. You gotta get a little bit more intense about your life. You gotta stop being so casual. It's decisions we make that chase that best version of us every second, every day, because every day alters the direction of the course of our life. Take ownership. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Get control of your ego. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Take ownership of your mistakes. Take ownership of your shortfalls. Take ownership of your problems. And then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. Take ownership of your job, of your future, and take ownership of your life. The sun doesn't shine every day. The storms will come. There are times when the nights will be long and dark and you will be alone. There will be times when the darkness seems to consume everything. But don't let it consume you. Even in the darkest times, even in the strongest storms, even when the sun is blotted out and the world is falling apart, the darkness cannot extinguish your light. You, your will, your determination, no matter what is happening, no matter how hard the fight is, as long as you keep fighting, you win. Only surrender is defeat, only quitting is the end. When it just doesn't make any logical sense to go on, that's when you use your emotion, your anger, your frustration to push you to say, I don't stop. When your feelings are screaming that you have had enough, override that emotion with concrete logic and willpower that says, I don't stop. Life is one big tug of war, and you don't win that tug of war by pushing the f*** alone. You have to pull that motherfucker. And a lot of times you have to pull yourself through life. Pull yourself out of bed. Pull yourself out of a funk. Pull yourself out of whatever the f*** life is throwing at you to gain that confidence. Everybody's got a f***ing plan so they can hit the f***ing mouth. So when your plan fails, when you get knocked the f*** down the f***ing canvas, when everything falls apart in your life and your plan is f***ed up, what the f*** are you going to do? There's only one 
one motherfucking option. Stay in hard. Don't shape yourself around the comings and goings of this world. Don't shape your opinions and your attitudes around circumstances that you cannot change. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. When you get inspired, realize that person is made up of the same whatever it is as you. And the only difference is that person is the one who has fought just that little harder. If we were all only made up of atoms, then why don't you become the stronger energy, the superior one? Can't you see we live off each other and it's the people that shine brightly who affect us positively? Stop waiting for others to do it first and break through. And go do it yourself. Look at the four minute mile. People thought it impossible and now every day people can achieve it. If you want something, you can get it. It only takes will. To want and to be ambitious and to want to be successful is not enough. That's just desire. To know what you want, to understand why you're doing it, to dedicate every breath in your body to achieve. If you feel you have something to give, if you feel that your particular talent is worth developing, is worth caring for, then there's nothing you can't achieve. Life's this game of inches. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. In any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's going to win that itch. And I know if I'm going to have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that itch. It is not easy, but I'm not about to quit. I'm not about to give up, and I'll do whatever it takes to maintain it. When living life, try new things. Jump, fall, fight, create love. Live extreme and push your boundaries. Why? Simply because there will be no other time for you to do this. You're going to die. You can't get out of life alive. Live your life now. Live your dreams now. Start acting like this is your last day on the planet. I don't care how young or old you are. Age is a number and nothing more. And should be determined by experience. By what you have done and tested. How many times you have pushed your limits and broken down. You can become whatever you want. It's you that has to want it, has to fight for it. It doesn't matter about the money, because when you truly love something, money is no object, it appears. When there's a will, there's a way. When you truly need something, you can find a way, and you stop at nothing to reach it. But you've got to work on yourself. You've got to develop yourself. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out, selling yourself on you and on your potentials. I'm coming out here first. I'm going to get my head out. I'm going to get my thinking out. I'm going to get my mentality out. As soon as you decide to stop looking for answers in other people and miracles somewhere down the yellow brick road and click the heel to your mind, you could have been free years ago. If you stay in bed, if you stay on the couch, if you stay in your comfort zone, if you only do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, if you get up, if you grind, if you are relentless, if you work as hard as possible when other people are slacking off, your life will be easy. Easy doesn't pay well. Choose the hard path, the path of responsibility, hard work, and sacrifice that ultimately leads to freedom. Too tired, too hungry, too sore, too hot, too cold, too whatever. People ask me what I do when I get those little feelings running around. Well, let me tell you what I don't do. I don't tell everybody. As a matter of fact, I don't even let those words run around inside my own brain housing group. I keep it secure, lock it down. It doesn't matter how I'm doing. It doesn't matter how I slept last night. It doesn't matter how I feel. It doesn't matter when the last time I ate. It doesn't matter. Because I'm going to go get some. Are you going to work out today? Yes or no? Are you going to win? Yes or no? Make the binary code decision. Yes or no? It's a commitment. It's not a feeling. Commitments don't have nothing to do with your feelings. You do it because you're supposed to. Your mind is your strongest weapon, but you must take control of it. You have to tell your brain where you want to go. When your brain tells you to give in, you push forward. When it tells you to take the day off, you go harder. 
Don't allow your weak feelings to dictate where you end up in your life. You've got to activate the thinker in you. Don't allow your emotions to control you. We are emotional, but you want to begin to discipline your emotion. If you don't discipline and contain your emotions, they will use you. Prove to yourself today, every day, that you can and will push harder than you wanted to, harder than you felt like pushing, past the point of fatigue and far beyond the point of comfort to that outer edge with every ounce of grit and tenacity to where you cross that line, that threshold through the suffering. Your body and mind will always adjust to more suffering, to more pain. Your mind quits way before your body does, so you have to be willing to go Way into that darkness and find more of yourself. Regardless of what's in front of you, you still must fly. I feel that most things I do, but still I grind. I don't want to do half the shit I do, but still I grind. And that one day, you see me on a dark alley, running at one o'clock in the morning, no one thing. I was grinding. Where are the warriors that say, I'm going to make a decision and I'm keeping it. And regardless of how you feel about it, it doesn't matter if the world is crumbling down around you. It doesn't matter what's happening. Just do the thing every single day, whether you feel like it or not. Oh, I don't feel so good today. Get your lazy, sick ass up out of bed. Your only commitment is to the activity, not to the grand scheme, not to the big picture, not to the implications of what it is that you're doing. It's to do the thing. It's what you fucking do every single day that matters more than anything. Devote yourself to something bigger. Be decisive about what you're going to do. And then be disciplined about getting it done every single day whether you feel like it or not. Success, guys, a very, very lonely road, man. Very few people are willing to endure the pain, the sacrifice, the due diligence to be successful. It's an uphill battle. And along that road, you're not going to see too many friends. You're going to see your shadow most often. When everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more, it's a lonely feeling. They look at you with that look and say, why don't you try something else? Why don't you give up? There will be times when you will feel alone and you will feel deserted when you feel weak and you doubt yourself and other people will doubt you and you ask yourself, am I crazy? People are going to think you're crazy. And sometimes you're going to think you're crazy. You're going to question yourself. It's hard to pick yourself up when you experience setbacks and people don't see the vision. And no one else believes in you. That's going to happen. But we all have a choice. The choice is you can let the outside noise affect you or drive you. What's it going to be? Don't give up. Stay in it. Stay focused. There's been so many times in our lives where people tell you you can't do something. Where would you be if every single time someone told you you can't do something, you listen to them? Oh, you're being unrealistic. You're dreaming. Yes, I am dreaming. So a lot of people have stopped dreaming. Don't you stop dreaming. It takes guts. You got to dig down deep to cut it out. Keep on going again and again and again until you make it happen because you know that it's possible. Your self-belief must outweigh others' disbelief. Your belief must be so strong that you block out the noise of everyone around you. And all you hear is your internal dialogue telling you, I can do this, I will do this, I must do this. And no matter what it takes, with every fiber of my being, I am going to win. You've got to ask yourself, what's your why? What motivates you? What pushes you? What drives you? And if that thing is internal, if nobody has to call you, if nobody has to prod you, if nobody has to reward you, if nobody has to give you anything, if you are self-motivated and self-regulated, you can have it, you can be it, you can do it. Judge not according to appearances. Don't judge your circumstances and the possibilities for your future based upon what you have now and because of what's going on now. No. No, 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 no. You must have the faith to call forth those things that be not as though they were. And for some of you, you stop dreaming. You dream for a week and you stop because things around you don't look good. You dream for a month and when you get hit in the mouth, you quit and you give up. You dream for a while and when people tell you crazy, when people tell you stupid, when people tell you can never get done, you stop dreaming and you go back to knowledge. People are going to laugh at you. But let me tell you, I believe in revenge like Frank Sinatra. He said the best revenge is massive success. You must have faith 
You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas. Unquestionably, take that leap of faith. Trust yourself and believe and know within yourself. And don't doubt in everything in you that everything is going to be all right. I dare you to use your imagination. I dare you when you broke to use your imagination. I dare you when you rich to use your imagination. I dare you under every single circumstance. Keep dreaming. Keep looking at your dream. Keep focusing on your dream. Keep going after the dream because that's where true success is. If you go to the gym and you work out and you come back and you look in the mirror, you will see nothing. And if you go to the gym the next day and you come back and you look in the mirror, you will see nothing. So clearly there's no results, can't be measured, it must not be effective. So we quit. Or if you fundamentally believe that this is the right course of action and you stick with it, you commit yourself to the regime, the exercise. But if you stick with it consistently, I'm not exactly sure what day, but I know you'll start getting into shape. If you hit an oak tree a thousand times, in a thousand different spots, what's going to happen? Absolutely nothing. But if you hit an oak tree a thousand times in the exact same spot, you know what's going to happen? You're going to bring it down. You're going to do the impossible. People put out goals, dreams, and aspirations and what they want to accomplish. But you very rarely hear people say what they're willing to sacrifice in order to make it happen. They'll tell you the goal, the dream, the aspiration. They'll tell you they want to be great, but they're not going to say, I'm going to stop going out on Friday night. They're not going to say I'm a sacrifice and I'm going to stay late. I don't hang with people who can only get up when they got something to motivate them. That's not somebody I want to hang out with. I want to hang with somebody. I don't care what the circumstances. I don't care what the situation. You're putting on your back and you're like, let's go. Are you hear me? Not at it, dog. I got to clear my mind of some stuff. But when I get up there, I got to do what I got to do. Why? Because success is not a failing. It's a mindset. You have to commit to becoming better. You have to commit to being a person of action. You have to commit to being someone who doesn't just talk, but follows through. You have to plan ahead. And by planning ahead, you have to create a life in your head that is so fucking great that even if you fall short, you're gonna be better than everybody else. Your problem is you start something, you stop it. You start something, you stop it. You feel good, you do it. You don't feel good, you quit. Stop doing stuff in January that you know you're not gonna do in March. I'm just saying whatever you do, be on time and be consistent. People who do stuff consistently and on time, they surpass people who talented and gifted. Sometimes it ain't about being the most talented. Sometimes it ain't about being the smartest. Sometimes it's about consistency. Consistency, just keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it and never stop and never give up and never quit and keep doing it day after day, play after play, second after second. You should work every day like somebody's working 24 hours a day to take it away from you. If you're not working to get better on a daily basis, if you're not pursuing the fulfillment of your own true potential, you are losing. You're either getting better or you're getting f***ing passed by people who are. Every time you kick back and you think you're the greatest and you think you're the sh** and you think you're the best at what you do, there is somebody that's one inch behind you that gets better than you. If you do this morning, noon, and at night, it's going to happen. The only way it doesn't happen is you're not focusing on it and you're not giving it energy. So even if you're better than me, it doesn't matter. If I'm putting energy out in the world, the world is going to respond because if I put energy on it, there ain't no way it's not going to happen. The only way I'm not going to be the best is if I'm not out there. No, I can like doing well is an option. That's not an option. Show up. That means I come every single time, full time. It means every time I come, I put in 120% or I don't come. Why? Because I'm trying to be the best. Every single day you wake up, if you're going to have energy, if you're going to have drive, every day you wake up, you got to start with that vision. People look at those of us who are successful like we superhuman. We're not. We're normal people like you. The only difference is we wake up with clarity. We wake up knowing exactly what we want. We wake up knowing exactly what our purpose is. When you understand what you're after, when you know what your outcomes are, when you know what you desire, you wake up every single morning and you go after it. And if you you're not willing to do it every single day, you're not going to beat the man that's doing it every single day. I'm not the best, but they have not outworked me. I'm not the best. I'm a beast. The real beast is when their legs give out. The real beast when they tire. The real beast find a way to pull something out when nobody else ain't got nothing. No one's coming. No one's coming to push you. No one's coming to save you. No one's going to work on that project for you. No one's going to study for you. No one's going to work out for you. It's up to you and you alone to get it done. 
It's your job to make yourself do the crap you don't want to do so you can be everything that you're supposed to be. And you're so damn busy waiting to feel like it. And you're never going to. Nothing happens until something moves. Nothing is going to happen in your life until you get up and start moving. So make movement. Move forward. You must discipline yourself to get up and get it done now. Well, what about jet lag? What if there's a time change? What if there's no good gym? Don't care. Time change? Don't care. Jet lag? Don't care. Don't have a good gym? Don't care. Shut your mind down. It gets no vote. Set up your gear, set up your weights, and do the work. Just do the work. Go through the motions. Get it done. The greatest version of you is not the I can do anything version of you. The greatest version of you is the disciplined version of you. The greatest version of you is the version that has parameters. No, I don't do that. I don't drink that. I don't go there with these people. I'm focused. I have a prize that's in front of me. I know what I'm supposed to do, and that ain't it. I have to stay right here. Most people can't succeed because they can't deal with all the old motherfuckers pulling them off the game plan. You're going to have to get real fucking comfortable sticking to your own plan and telling them no when they want to go out on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You got to let everything go but that thing you pursue. You can't chase two rabbits and catch both of them. And the biggest thing I see getting in the way is your fucking feelings. Fuck your feelings. Where there's a will, there's a way. When you've got air in your lungs, then you have no excuse. It's just a matter of perspective. You're either going to be a fucking sheep or you're going to be a lion. You're going to be an attacker and a go-getter. But if you want to sit there and cry, bitch, and moan and whine all the fucking time like you can't, 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 then you sit your ass on that bench with the losers and you stay there. But don't expect me to turn around and pat you on the back and say, hey, good job for being a fucking quitter. Get up and do something about it. Either getting better or you're getting worse. Your shirt's no not staying the same. A conversation's coming. A conversation's true versus you. They got all black holes off. It's in the after it. Stay poor. Stay fight. Get the gun. Life ain't about medals, certificates, houses, money, cars, fame, all that bullshit. It's about scars. The scars show your willingness to get to the side. They show your failures. They show your willingness to start from scratch. They show what you're willing to do to go the distance, to see what you're capable of. Everybody's living off the hope factor. They hope the water's never cold. They hope the weather's fucking good. I don't live off that hope shit. I wish the water was cold. I wish the fucking rain when the end is unknown and the distance is unknown. That's when you know who the fuck you are. I want to know what the f I'm made of. I want to know what I can overcome. And I know that the harder the obstacle to overcome, the more strength I'm going to gain from it. It's about taking personal responsibility for your life. It's about no more excuses. It's about no more trials and tribulations getting in your way. It's about getting up as early as you need to. It's about doing whatever it takes. You don't care what amongst your kind of people. And that's the war your way. Know who you are. What you want to be. Without a shadow of a doubt. Whatever it takes. Are you a gazelle? Or are you a lion? And let me tell you the difference between a gazelle and a lion. When the gazelle wakes up, it runs. But if a lion ain't chasing it, it stops running. But when the lion wakes up, it don't need nobody to push it. It pushes itself. Why? Because he realizes that if he does not catch that gazelle, not only him, but his family don't eat. What are you playing this game for? What's your passion? What's your drive? What's your purpose? What's your purpose for playing this game? No alarm clock needed. My passion wakes me up. My drive wakes me up. My determination wakes me up. My ability to be, do, and have whatever I want, it wakes me up. What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? Is it just a game? Or do you eat it? Do you sleep it? Do you drink it? Have you possessed the game? When you are a lion, it does not make a difference. You realize that if your family is going to eat, that if that pack of lions is to survive, then you gotta go hunt. 
You a gazelle, you gonna come up short. You a gazelle, you gonna have an average experience. You a student, I need you in lion mode. You an entrepreneur, I need you in lion mode. You try to lose weight, lion mode. You can't do nothing significant in gazelle mode. Nothing impressive happens in gazelle mode. Nothing happens in run mode, give up mode, quit mode. Scared mode, fearful mode, nothing happens. Everything happened in lion mode like I'm coming to get you. A part of being a beast just ain't eating a gazelle. A part of being a beast is the hunts. It's the hunt that they're excited about. They like to see the gazelles run. Then boom, they take off. Because real lions like to hunt. They love the process just as much as they love the prize. And some of y'all just want to score. You don't like the process. You're not in love with the process. A true hunter's goal is not the prize. A true hunter's goal is to hunt. That's what they live for. They live to hunt. They don't just live to catch it. It's the whole process. I'm like the lion. I'm not the gazelle. I don't need something external to motivate me. I find something within. When you are a true hunter, you don't go by time. You go by the gazelle. When you are a true hunter, you hunt until you get a gazelle, and you don't stop until you get one. And then you get another, and then you get another, and you get another. Keep playing the game. Keep grinding. Keep working. Look at your belief system every single day and stick with it. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. From this day forward, I will give 120% or nothing at all. When you want something bad, you can't count the cost. Because if you count the cost and you see how much it costs, you might quit. You might give up. So you got to go in knowing that I don't count the cost. I do as many push-ups as it takes, as many reps as it takes. I study as long as it takes. I pay whatever the price is. Why? Because if I start counting the cost, I might quit. I might give up. I might surrender. Don't count the cost. You get to a point where you don't count it. You just do whatever it takes to get whatever you want. Winners win and losers lose. And if you create a culture of losing, if you keep being a victim, if you keep letting losing happen to you, if you keep letting people do you and treat you any kind of way, it's going to become a culture. you got to give up that mediocre part of you. you got to give up this common thinking you got, telling you you can't do this, that you can't have this, that it's not possible for you. you got to give that up. you got to trust yourself. you got to know you came here with the stuff in you. You are a winner. You were born to win. It is your right to win. It is your right to have your dream. You don't get this stuff, you don't get these ideas unless you also have the capacity to make it happen. Use your gift and become stronger, become better, become faster, become smarter, become more productive. And you know what? You will build a life that says I told you so without having to say a fucking word. All your excuses are lies. Little lies that you think makes life easier, but they don't. Now I know in the morning, you got that blanket giving you a warm hug. And you got the, the pillow, which is whispering in your ear, telling you it's okay. Telling you to stay just a little longer. But don't listen to them. They're lying to you. Listen to your alarm clock, which is telling you to get up and get some. Listen to the weight room, the pull-up bar, which is telling you to face reality. And listen to your will, which is telling you to get up and crush everything, regardless of how you feel. Don't negotiate with weakness. Kill it. See, in life, you can go through life, you can come up with reasons or you can come up with results. You can come up with excuses or you can come up with achievements. You can go through life blaming or you can come up with solutions. The choice is in your hands. Satisfaction or despair. We can choose that. You don't get better on the daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting the fuck after it every daggone day. When that alarm clock goes off at 4 or 5 in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do now. My new norm is, you get up every fucking morning at 4 o'clock and you suffer. That became my new fucking life. Most people want to get out of it. I said, no, motherfucker, this is your new life. This is who you are. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how minuscule the movement is, but make movement. Move forward and do that every single day, no matter what. 
You aren't getting any closer to your five-year plan or your three-year plan or your seven-year plan or any plan that you've got unless you get up and start getting after it today. You trying to get to the next level and you just interested. You kidding yourself. Forget about it. If you want to get to the next level, if you want to eat it, if you want to live it, if you want to be it, if you want to do it, stop talking about it and give me full commitment. You can be the person who says, this is going to f***ing work no matter what happens, no matter how frustrated I get, no matter how angry I get, no matter what, I'm f***ing doing this. If you're committed, you'll start today to let go of your stories, your excuses, your reasons why you can't and why you won't. You'll upgrade your knowledge, you'll upgrade your skills, you'll come in every single day and figure out how you can achieve those goals. It's about executing regardless. Regardless of your emotions, these test days, they test your fortitude, your endurance, your discipline, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness at the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing. you got to get the job done. Stop having dialogue with your emotions. Stop negotiating with your feelings and start to act. That's where people separate themselves from the pack. That's where people earn the right to success. They earn the money. They earn the life. They earn the relationship. They earn the body in those little moments where they don't want to do what they need to do, but move forward regardless of how they feel. That's what champions know, champions understand, and champions can thrive on. I don't know what the secret of success is, but here's what I know what the secret of failure is. Trying to please everybody. You can be world class, you can fit in with the world, you don't get to do both. If you want to have the results only 5% of the population has, you've got to be willing to think and behave like only 5% of the population. And if you do these kinds of things, the world will call you eccentric. This is where you got to develop the interior core where it doesn't matter if people call you crazy. One of the things limiting you from your income, your impact, a world-class life. You care too much about what people think about you. Sounds really obvious. Everyone has an opinion. Why let the opinions of other people deny you from a life that will make history. Why are you so anti-social? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying? Because I'm trying to get it. You ain't doing nothing. And for those of us who get up and go out, who got something to say about how we do what we do it. Stop talking to us who perform it. Stop telling us what to do or how to do it. You keep gossiping and I'll keep working. You keep talking smack and I'll keep working. You keep focusing on everyone else and I'll keep working. And when you finally look around at where you are and where I'm at, you realize that you have nothing left to talk smack about and you will lose and I will win you don't have time to worry about anybody else's course cause it's gonna take all of your energy all of your intensity all of your fervency to keep yourself on track that's why it's important for you to work on yourself listening to tapes, building yourself up talking to yourself with power, feeling and conviction day in and day out you got to focus on you and as you convince you, as you sell yourself, every day, every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Selling yourself on your ability to perform a job, to achieve a certain objective. Telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. I'm going to fail, I'm going to fail, I'm going to fail, I'm going to fail, and I will succeed. Just give me against me, period. I want to f***ing make myself good enough. I'm driven. I'm obsessed. I want to prove people wrong. And you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. And since I'm going to do this, I'm going to harness my will. And I'm not going to let anything stop me. 
Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. Fuck all the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. It's not about today. It's about the future. Do the work now and all of the shit that you could ever want to do for your family, your kids, your loved ones, it's all going to be on a whole other stratosphere. It's you if it's going to happen. Not about the failures. Not about your disappointments. Not about the defeats. Not about your mistakes. Not about what you don't have. Not about who doesn't approve of you. Who doesn't like you. All that's insignificant. Your life is in your hands. You have the power to turn your life around. You've got the power to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. You've got the power to be daring. And it's on you to be that decisive about your life. All of us have experienced some tragedy, and if we haven't, we will. And you can either let it destroy your life, or you can build upon it. You can permit it to let it hold you down, or you can decide, I'm not going to let that happen to me. I'm bigger than this. The night is dark, it's just before the dawn. And I promise you, the dawn is coming. And it doesn't matter how you get knocked down in life, because that's going to happen. All that matters is that you got to get up. Everybody can see, everybody has sight, but very few people have vision. For every minute that you think you can't do it, I need you to offset it with dreaming about the fact that you can. Whatever your dream is, whatever your goal is, you're not going to be able to make it happen if you don't have a dream party every day. You've got to take out 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, however much time you have, and you've got to actually go in a room, close the door, and you've got to see yourself doing it. You've got to feel yourself doing it. You've got to actually walk in it. You've got to go in the future, live it out, come back in the present, and start working toward it. Every single day, we're not waiting for it to happen. We just don't have sight. Sight is for people who live in the present. We have vision. We're going to make it happen before it happens. You have to know that this thing is going to work. Come hell or high water, whatever it is that I set out to do, it may not happen in six months, it may not happen in a year, it may not happen in two years, but at some point, my dream is going to become a reality. You cannot get a diamond out of hole without pressure. So stop looking at pressure as if something bad and look at pressure as something that's about to work. I'm trying to tell you, you can win. Despite the circumstance, you can win. Despite the adversity, you can win. Despite the situation, you can win. Despite how much money you got in your bank, you can win. You can pull it off. As long as you're programmed with what you can't do and what you can't be and what you can't have, you will never get up. But I dare you to go into your phone booth like Clark Kent and spin around and come out Superman and say, wait a minute, I'm better than this. Man, don't you know God brought you through too much for you to give up here and die? People can't do just anything to you. Life can't do just anything to you. I don't care what comes up against you. I don't care how big they are. I don't care how tough they are. There is nothing as powerful as a changed mind. You can decide that you're going to change, that you're going to stand up to life. I got me here. I can get me out of this. And I'm getting out. I'm not going to be a volunteer victim. You can decide, I'm going to work on myself and develop myself. I'm going to empower me. I'm not going to settle for this. This is not going to be it for my life. I deserve more than this. And you get control when you stop letting life control you. When you get to the point where a tragedy or a child don't make you cry. Some of you are phenomenally skilled, but once life hits you with a punch or two, you ready to quit. Phenomenally skilled is cute. But it is a phenomenal will that says every time I get knocked down, I will get back up and I will succeed. I will not surrender. There are moments that try the human soul so violently and so perplexing that if the truth were told, all of us have had moments that we wanted to throw up our hands and walk away. Depression, frustration, anxiety, pain, disillusion. It's just a natural part of the process of becoming a stronger version of yourself. It happens to us spiritually and it happens in the world physically. 
You actually have a say-so in how your life goes. You have a determining voice into where your life can go. You have no say-so in what happens to you, but you have a say-so in what you do about it. See, life is 10% what happens to you. It's 90% what you do about it. Everything you see that's beautiful starts out as a seed, but that seed got to get dirt on it. See, you get tripped out because you got dirt on you, but you need dirt on you to develop because dirt ain't just dirt. Dirt is fertilizer. Dirt is nutrients. Dirt gives you the strength for your seed to push through. See, you got to have dirt on you to push through something. See, you get mad when haters come your way. You get mad because you get a setback. You get mad because you get thrown off course. You get mad because you get a detour. That's just dirt. You get mad because they talking about you. That's dirt. You get mad because you, you lost your mama. That's dirt. But show me something that has grown into something beautiful that didn't have no dirt on it. You got to have dirt on you to grow into what God got for you. I'm better. I'm better than I was when I went down. It was good for me that I've been afflicted. I'm better for it. I didn't like it, but I'm better for it. I couldn't see down there, but I'm better for it. See, I was planted in a dark place, but I'm better for it. Every time you go through something dark and you can't see your way out, remember you've been planted, not been buried. I'm not buried in this mess. I'm planted in it. I'm planted in it. And if I'm planted in it, expect me to come back up again. And when I come back up, you won't recognize me because I'm going to be transformed by the experiences that I have endured. I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. I'm unbreakable now. You got to take some L's to be a champion. You ain't got to take no L's to be a winner, but you got to take some L's to be a champion. And you tripping on your L's. Your L's about to prepare you. Everybody's got a f***ing plan so they can hit in the f***ing mouth. So when your plan fails, when you get knocked the f down the f***ing canvas, when everything falls apart in your life and your plan is f***ed up, what the f*** are you going to do? There's only one motherfucking option. Stay f***ing hard. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat, where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. When your mind knows it's not going to quit, your body will adapt to whatever is in front of it. Learn to not let life hijack your brain. Don't allow all these things to make you a lesser person. You must own your mind. Don't let life own yours. As long as you got breath in your mouth, don't you ever give up. Don't you ever give in because I never told you it'd be easy. But with mental toughness, you can get it done. I don't care how hard you fall, fall on your back. Because if you can fall on your back, you can look up. And if you can look up, you can get up. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back. And I'll be stronger and better because of it. I don't care where you come from. I don't care where you were raised. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what gender you are. I don't care about any of that sh If you do the work consistently, if you invest in yourself consistently, one plus one is always going to equal two. Two plus two is going to equal four. And ten years of motherfucking work is going to pay off. You can do this. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. It takes courage to act. Part of being hungry when you've been defeated, it takes courage to start over again because of past experiences, past defeats, past pain. We look back, well, it didn't work out then. It probably won't work out now. Courage is going from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm. Michael Jordan said in one of his interviews, I missed 9,000 shots when I was playing basketball at the NBA games. Does it make him a failure? No. He's one of the greatest basketball players of all times, but he failed 9,000 times. We all fail. It's okay. What is not okay is that when you fail, you stay down. Whoever stays down is a loser and winners will fail and get up, fail and get up, fail and get up. You always get up. That is a winner.
And I'm telling you, you're not where you want to be financially and it's not going to take 20 shots. You're not where you want to be in your marriage and it's not going to take 20 shots. You're not where you want to be in your personal life. You are not the person you want to be and it's not going to take you 20 shots. For some of you, it's one more shot. For some of you, it's two more shots and you have not given yourself enough credit to say, I just need to get up a half hour earlier and my whole life will change. I just need to get up one hour early. I just need to work one hour longer. And when it just doesn't make any logical sense to go on, that's when you use your emotion, your anger, your frustration, your fear to push further when your feelings are screaming that you have had enough. When you think you are going to break emotionally, override that emotion with concrete logic and willpower that says one thing. I don't stop. You've got to make those kind of declarations to yourself. I'm unstoppable. This will not get me down. I'm not going to be denied. I'm going to go up in here and I'm going to do this. You can't have any doubts. You got to believe this for yourself. You got to believe I can do this. I was created for this. I was called for this. I was curved for this. I was shaped for this. I was meant for this. You gotta be doubtless or you can't harvest. You got to be the kind of person that you are fearless. Fearless, folk leave fearless people alone. You are unstoppable. And because you are unstoppable, because you've got power that you haven't even begun to use yet, you ought to yourself to release your brakes. Some people want to always step into something that is always finished because they don't understand the power of the process. It's good to be afflicted. It's good to have to worry how I'm going to make it. It's good to have to scuffle your way up. The harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. It's good for you. Why? See, when you win, it's hard and there's a struggle. See, what you become in the process is more important than the dream. That's far more important. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting. You get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. It is easy to be negative today. It is easy to have low morale today. Anybody can do that. But if you can begin to harness yourself and say that where I am, I'm going to do the best I can with what I got because that is an expression of who I am. And you'll be surprised at the things that you're able to do. When you learn how to block things out, when you learn how to keep that eye single, you'll be surprised at the ideas that will come to you. You can decide, I'm going to work on myself and develop myself. I'm going to empower me. I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. When everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more, it's a lonely feeling. Oh, it, it hurts very badly. I know what that's like. And look at you with that look and say, why don't you try something else? Why don't you give up? Get away from these people that's in your life that ain't doing nothing. Get away from people in your life that's hating. Get away from them. Get away from them. If you take an oak tree seed and you put it in a two foot pot, that seed will never become the oak tree that oak trees are capable of becoming because it's going to get stifled by the two foot pot. Now check this out. Ain't nothing wrong with the seed. See, just fell prey to the environment. Don't you allow your environment to dictate the oak tree that you become. Anytime you move from being normal to trying to be exceptional, people aren't going to like this. Those normal people, it makes them feel like sh**, so they're going to judge you. And that's why every true leader, they're called weird, they're called eccentric. When you do the things of real leadership, you're going to be called strange. Get strong enough in your own skin that when people laugh at you or when they throw stones at you, you keep on going. I respect any motherfucker that wakes up every day and work they ass off to live their life and lifestyle. Clubbing, partying, hanging out, that ain't for me. I'm going to be out here running in the hot sun, practicing. While everybody else is clubbing and hanging out, you got your focus right. 
Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this. Why you have got to go. Why you leave. This is a good job. I'm going. They pay you well. I'm going. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me. This is something I have got to do. How are you going to make it? I don't know, but I will. The universe responds to the man or woman that refuses to be denied. Because that is your commitment. That business that you want. That book you want to write. That dream that you have of controlling your destiny. That is yours. That's available to you. But you've got to be willing to stand there and face disappointment. Not have support. Be lonely. Doubt yourself sometimes. Be rejected again and again and again. Become bankrupt if necessary. Again and again and again. And refuse to turn around until life gives it up. Life will always be to a large extent what you make it, not what circumstances will make of it, not what other people will make of it, not what other people say it will be, not what the environment will try and dictate to you, but what you make of your life. So when you're uncommon, get ready for the criticism. When you're uncommon, get ready for the opposition. When you're uncommon, get ready for the common people not to understand you. If I decided to experience the fear of rejection, the fear of no, the fear of failure, the fear of standing by myself, the fear of people not liking me, what else is available? Of taking a chance, a fear of losing it all, what else is available to me? People are going to think you're crazy. You don't have nothing but lint in the corner of your pocket. You ought to talk about living your dream. And people laughing at you. And they're doubting you. It takes guts, ladies and gentlemen. But let me tell you, I believe in revenge like Frank Sinatra. He said the best revenge is massive success. Instead of killing them with kindness, torture them with success. When your life is f***ing hard, and life is coming at you, you will panic, and you will forget who the f*** you are. Because in the worst of f***ing times, you are alone. You must get your f***ing self out of the f***ing sewer. No one's coming in the f***ing sewer to get you. It's dark, it's nasty, there's rats down there. It's your brain. You are the only person that can pull yourself out. Anything you focus your mind on, you can change. You don't like the way your life is going? You're the only one who can change it. You don't have to be an alcoholic. You don't have to be a failure. You don't have to be anything. You don't want to be. If you ever decide to change your mind. And if you're having one of those dark days, it's okay. It's okay to feel that darkness. Embrace that darkness. I don't care who you are. I don't care what title you hold. I don't care what position you're in. I don't care what it looks like to people. This is not about people. This is about your life. Don't you quit. Don't give up. You have to get up. In the chaos is an opportunity. It is the chaos of the time that creates the conqueror in the man. Those exceptional people who are uncomfortable with the time that rise to the challenge because they refuse to allow the chaos around them to determine the conqueror within them. People who resist the toll to go down and stand fiercely in spite of opposition and say, I'm going to do it anyway. You're going to have people to do things to you. Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go. Move so you can grow. So you can get on with your life. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is, what are you going to do about it? Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want. Because you expect to get it. You don't like where you're at? Don't worry about it. It's just a step. You don't like how you feel right now? Stop crying. It's just a step. Why are you up all night over a step? Why would you be weeping and worrying over one step in the whole topography of your life. You can't judge your life by where you are in this moment. Do you not know that where you are will pass? What you're worried about will pass? Don't you understand that one day you will look back and laugh at the thing that kept you up all night? Don't you understand that it's not nearly as major as you thought it was? You can live without your house. You can live without your car. You can live without your friend. You can live without your husband. You can live without your wife. The 
there's more in you right now that's represented in your bank account. There's more in you right now that's being reflected by your life right now. Your life is not a true reflection of your potential. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to stand up. You can't talk out now. You can't fold now. It's not there to stop you. It's only there to challenge you. You want to grow through it. Tough times never last, but tough people do. You're going through hell? Don't stop. Keep moving. You keep on swinging and the universe will yield to you. Energy is measured by motion. That's why the devil wants you to sit, shut up, and feel sorry for yourself. But try to blow the devil's mind this morning. Just when you think he got you down, you ought to shock him and press. Is it easy? No. Is it worth it? Yes. Yes, your life is worth it. I came to tell somebody, you got just enough strength left. You got just enough time left. You got just enough energy left to run from the chaos. Stand still and let the chaos run from you. Life will knock you between the eyes. It will catch you on the blind side. Come out of nowhere. Stuff you can't anticipate. That will knock the wind out of you. You want to give up. You will not be challenged in your convenience. You will be challenged in your chaos. When you run out of money, when things don't work out for you, when things happen that you could not anticipate, what are the reasons that you can think of that can keep you strong? If you know the why for living, you can endure almost anyhow. You will be tested. And how you face that test and how you overcome that test determines the rest of your life. The one mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I'll never be in the Olympics. I'll never be a professional athlete, but still I grind. I fail at most things I do, but still I grind. I don't want to do half the shit I do, but still I grind. You don't have to force yourself or motivate yourself to think negatively, to be depressed, to hate somebody, to want revenge, to want to get back at somebody, to beat yourself up over the head. You don't have to make any effort to do that. Your mind is on automatic. It will do that by itself. But if you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, if you want to begin to really enjoy a happy, successful, healthy life, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this. I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. Before you are boxed and buried, decide that you're going to box and bury your fears. Decide that you're going to begin to live life on a new level, seeking out new horizons. It's necessary that you look for ways to always find a way to pull it out when everybody else thinks that you are defeated. That you've got to take personal responsibility to know that in order to become successful, you've got to make it your personal business to do it. Decide that you're going to push yourself. Most people won't do that. Most people give up on themselves easily. You know the human spirit is powerful? There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. That when you have a made up mind, you don't care about the facts. You don't care about the odds. The power to hold on in spite of everything. The power to endure. This is the winner's quality. The hunger, the ability to face defeat again and again without giving up. This is a winner's quality. You have that quality within you. In life, we have to continue pushing past the odds. Use everything this board has to give you for fuel. Stand up for your dreams. Stand up for what you want in your life. Decide that your life is so meaningful to you. That you love you and you love life so much that you're going to stand up for what you believe in because you can fall for anything. I'm doing this because I want to make my mama proud of me. I'm doing this because I want my children to have a better life. I'm doing this because all my life I've been told I'd be a loser, that I wouldn't make it. I'm doing this to make them a lie. I believe like Frank Sinatra, he said the best revenge in life is massive success. But if life's got you down, I need you to get up and prove them wrong.